we may never know. So, what are we doing today, Jens? Well, uh, no, what we're doing today is, uh, well, not, not the Legendary Cube yet. We're, do, we're starting with Rav. We're, we're going we're gonna to do a Rav, eh? That's... Yes. So that's a good idea. It sounds like I I wanted that to happen. Yeah, it sort of does. <laughs> it's, it's it's almost as, as if though. I forgot you had Mike did two of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Just in one ear, out the other. Yeah, like you you you, you sent me that earlier, and I was like, I was confused because I'm like, well, we we did two, but if you want to do more, fine by me. I'm completely fine doing more Ravnica. I like this format, but it's super junky. I have... It reminds me of... It reminds me of another format everyone loves, is Invasion. A lot in common with Invasion. It has some things in common with Invasion, but it, basically everything it has in common with Invasion, like, there's... It does a lot of things better. For one, fixing yeah, is, is real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Invasion is like... Of... Invasion tells you, hey, play, like, three-foot color, and then you're like... Well, what do I get to fix? And they just, they just laughs at you. <laughs> uh, some lands at uncommon. How about that? Here's some garbage. And some eggs that sacrifice to fix for, for one turn. None of those are Odyssey. All right, what is... No, it's the lands that do that. Those really shitty lands. Mm -hmm. The sack lands. Ugh. Yeah, they're at common. They accelerate. They were like There were combo decks built around those. <laughs> <laughs> you just sack all your lands and, and like, yeah. It's sacking, I love sacking lands. Yes, so we're going to return to. We're going to go back to Ravnica. We're going to once again Ravnica. So one more time into the into the fuel. <laughs> An attempt to have a a real draft. <laughs> They attempt to draw lands and spells in combination, and to uh, have really sweet rares, and hopefully be as greedy as possible. I wanna, I wanna again try what I did uh, in my draft the last time, where I just sort of went with his fixing starting and was like, okay, I can pick the cards secondary, but if I'm already set in fixed for four colors, I can play just fine anyway. Is yeah. my plan. Um, I don't know. Yeah, return to. No, the return to the, the return, return to, to the re return to Ravnica. If they follow the years of modern, will not happen for a while. Yeah, that's gonna be another like two or three years, probably. <laughs> well, no, that'll be the return to return to Ravnica. That's that's in like two to three uh, years. But to return to, to return to return to Ravnica is like ten years, give or take. Ah. Uh. Well, it depends on if they cycle. Like, they go... They reach the last modern set, and then they just like, okay, now we're doing a Master's Edition. Mm. Speaking of modern, they uh, they announced some bannings and unbannings in modern today. Oh, yeah, that was today? Uh, today. How dead is Eldrazi Temple? Uh, Eldrazi Temple's legal. I was the only card banned. They didn't? Ooh. They want, they want the deck to be a, like... A deck, but not the deck. That is odd as hell. So well, I guess we'll see what that. I think that does do a ton to turn it off into a normal well, deck. It, it turns it off, but it still lets it live. Yeah, that's the idea. And it, like, if it's not doing turn two, like thought not seer every time, like it's a lot. Wait, less. they they unbound uh, Thopter they, Sword. They unbanned Thopter Sword and Ancestral Visions. Those were the two unbannings. That's pretty sweet. I, I I don't I don't think like time sieve ain't the thing that I think of when I think of Thopter Sword. That's like when I think of time sieve, I I always picture what I saw at like nationals in standard in like two thousand nine, which was like the most annoying person in the world, like t trying to win with time sieve and failing. <laughs> like, like they had, they took like six turns in a row and then dropped their combo, and that's what. I, anytime I think of time sieve combo, that's the mental picture I have. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the thing people were trying to get to work with clues? Uh, what thing? I remember you like mentioning this, like. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the the shape anew, shape anew. Shape anew. Okay, I was trying to remember the name of that card the entire pre-release. Well, you said all yeah. I could think of, all I could think of was Kadotha Forge Master, but I knew that wasn't it. Yeah, shape anew. It's a uh, polymorph for artifacts. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. We just play that with like bad spells that produce clues. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you could already do things with that. You just had to play Guild in your modern deck or they, something. They also made a change in Vintage. Um, really? What they change in Vintage? Um, if if my memory is correct, I'm not. I'm that uh, Lodestone Golem got restricted in Vintage. Yeah, Lodestone Golem got restricted in Vintage. I'm so sorry, Kaz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did that just to annoy yeah. Kaz. I, I, if, I, sorry, my memory correct isn't on the lodestone, but I, I think that's the first creature that ever got a vintage restriction. Um, Let's look at our... Uh, yeah, take our aqueduct. Our Breath of Fury, I don't think, is the is a card you can pick. We this, read is a, it. this is an infinite combo with Paul and Bright Wings. Uh, uh, we'll sort of, no, no, sorry, not with Paul and Bright Wings. With um, shit, the, the, like Breath of Fury is a card with some dumb infinite. I remember this. Uh, I don't remember what the infinite is though. Demir Aqueduct is the card I'm going to take for the plan. Mm -hmm. That's um, the plan card. Uh, other cool cards in here are Twisted Justice, which sometimes really sweet. Sometimes it draws you a card. And then there's uh, also I, I'm I'm a big fan of Thundersong Trumpeter. We saw, song is we saw that really kicker kicking our ass in a, in the last Rav one. There's also Peel and a six mana two two. I guess Oathsworn Giant is also as far as six mana three okay. fours go, he's That's a good still, card. He's still he's pretty okay. I'm I'm just gonna straight go with the Demir Aqueduct here and because I'm not seeing I'm not. There isn't anything in super high power level that jumps out to me. Oh boy. Ah, uh, a chorus of the conclave. A eh? how do you like eight drops? Uh, I, the last time I saw that in this pack, which was two drafts ago, uh, it was the same thing. Pick two, we passed it, and then it was also in pick ten, where we passed mm. it again. Okay, if you <coughs> pick this remand, you might want to actually pick it because your timer is zero zero. Oh uh, sure. Let's pick. Anyway, let's pick the remand because I love remand. That that's literally. Take either that or Demir Signet or, like... or the Celestia Sanctuary. Sanctuary. <sighs> Just pick four colors right away. But no, I'm I'm picking the remand. Uh... <laughs> that was... Give me my card. This, this is the... a first pick I've made before. Yes, I I I haven't got to show this card off. Okay, so Fates Fetters. <laughs> You you probably know my favorite cards in Magic, like the the top ones very well. Fate's Fetters is actually near the top of that list because of how much I love this card. It's just, it just solves anything. I well I've, most I've, things. I've always been annoyed because this was a card that was. This is in Ravnica. This is two years before Planeswalkers existed as a card type, and the moment that Planeswalkers existed as a card type, Ravnica rotated. This is a card that stops Planeswalkers, and it's never been freaking reprinted. It, it has not. Uh, other cards here, uh, Transluminant Suite, Perplex is like a one of. I like Roofstalker White a lot. It's like Jumping Master, but better. Greater Forgeling is actually a pretty sweet guy. Yes. And then there's like Dark Heart of the Wood and Privileged Position, who cares? Privileged Position can sometimes be really annoying, but not in Limited. Yeah. Ooh, Roiling Spoil. <laughs> I was more Snapping thinking. Drake. I was more thinking like Demir Signet or Snapping Drake or Drift of Phantasms. Hmm. All right, those are all fair choices. I guess the Signet is like the generic choice. Yeah. Snapping Drake is a flyer, and Drift of Phantasms is a gigantic wall. Yep. I don't know how good double blue transmute is going to be. Well, it'd be okay. Funnily enough, like the trans, like the I'd rather have the bounce one, but like Drift of Phantasm as a card is just fine. Oh yeah, Drift of Phantasm is just, yeah. He's like, there was a card in Return to Ravnica that like tries to be this card, except it doesn't freaking fly, and you don't. It looks like the art looks <laughs> like it flies, but it doesn't fly. So it's like, ah. Uh. Stabbing mm. Drake will win you games. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Drake over the Signet. This is a weird choice for me, but I already have blue black fixing is basically the reason for it. And um, we don't have a reason to be 
black yet. Okay, not here yet. Not um, here yet. And honestly, there's not a ton here at the Mo. And then... There's form on a coercion. There's elves of deep shadow. Yeah, like it's elves of deep shadow. Element. Something I want to move in on. Convolute is also playable. Picks are in order right here, one to four. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pick one was Aqueduct. It was Aqueduct versus like a rare I didn't care about. Um, like elves or convolutes or maybe bramble elemental. I don't know. Yeah, bramble <laughs> elemental's all right. It's just that it's actually a lot, a little worse with triple set because there's less auras that matter. Mm -hmm. Like we don't, we um, haven't seen any like fists of the ironwood or anything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Elves of Deep Shadow. It wasn't the emptiest pack. There were a couple cards I liked in it, but nothing that like actually got me to care enough about. That. There's a guy I love in full block, uh, Drooling Grudian. I love that guy when you're playing uh, when you when you can like make it work with Selesnia and like splashing this guy, but that's really hard to do. <laughs> well, in full block, it's worse because you don't have you only have one pack of token creators. Yeah, but I I still tried to um. Just Roofstock or White, or... If pick the White, we could go in on Ghost of the Innocent. Oh my god, make that our, is the Make most... our games last forever. <laughs> you missed five picks. Um, I almost like that. Roofstock or White is like a sane pick. I guess Perplex is also... I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the, the giant jerk pick of Ghost of the Innocent. Uh, I'll see on these. Mm. Oh boy, nothing really a note here. Fiery conclusion, I suppose, is of note. Yeah, I guess that might be the pick. Uh, the year that are convolute. Uh, I don't. Halcyon Glaze is okay, but you have to cast a creature basically every turn. It's a 4 4 flyer, mm. and whenever you cast a creature, it comes a 4 4. It's like, uh. Glen Hawk Idol. Yeah, Glint Hawk Idol oh, had yeah. the upside of being able to, like... Activate it, yeah. Activate it to, to swing, which made it a lot better. I'm going to go with the Convolute. The red here, there's only one good red card. Stone Shaker Shaman's garbage. Used to be, like, okay and just isn't. Um, Netherborn Phalanx, huh? That's yeah, like, that's oh. like a Poison Belly Ogre, but... That's like, poison yeah, I was gonna say, that's like having a Poison Belly Ogre, but better because we can turn it into something else if it's garbage. If we get, like, another six drop, that's fine, which we should get, like, We, we probably should. Also, it's single black. Uh, other things in here are not a lot. Junk Troller. Junk Troller is okay. Uh, Golgari Brown Scale is not as heavy green. Mm. The, Imp the Alley Cat is unplayable. Do you want to pick the Entrancer or the Twisted Justice? Probably the Twisted Justice. It's better in. It's always a thing for our uh, Phalanx to grab. Yeah, I don't. So I don't Entrancer. think that. I don't think that like Mill is real, especially since the only other card we're going to be getting for it is another copy of. Uh... I thought that was the top of deck Videlkin, but yeah, Twisted Justice you can fetch with Netherborn Phalanx. Yeah. Let's do that. My green might be fake. My green's likely oh. fake. Green is likely fake. Because the Elves of Deep Shadow sure is hell ain't a reason to be green. Fake we might see one later. We're probably just uh, blue, black, splashing for Fates Fetters. We don't know if we're playing Ghosts well, of the Innocent or not. Well, the thing is, in pack two and three, the white guilds are the ones we're going to be seeing the most. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, man, quick change. Yeah. The Arizorius cards and whatnot. Four mana two twos. But yeah, like because the the like Orzhov pack two, and then also uh, pack three. What we have uh, Azorius. Mm -hmm. I was my my head is said it was sitting there trying to reconcile like if we go specific other routes in pack two which the other open route is red if red looks good mm -hmm. if we can get like is it in Rakdos yeah, is it Rakdos leads well leads powerfully as well um I don't I feel like we have a couple powerful cards and then like a bunch of chaff that I'm not a f huge fan of mm -hmm. like you know? the oh man 
Okay. Leyline of Singularity, but okay. then there's a Blind Hunter. Yeah. Leyline of Singularity is actually a lot worse these days because of the cha legendary changes. You used to be able to, like, legend rule your opponent's shit, which made it really funny. Um, as is, the card has a, still has a couple really good uses. Um, I'm also, God, there's, like, a repeal in yeah, here, repeal. too. Yeah, repeal. That's what I was to say. Like, yeah, repeal. But Blind Hunter is a, is a flying creature. Blind Hunter is, like, a screeching griffin that is, like, really good instead of, like, a 2-2 flyer with no text. We might get, like, a Rakdos Keru just to splash its activation. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, let, me get, let me get the cards I actually don't want in the deck. Uh, the Leyline is a lot funner in, like, some weird and constructed stuff. Like, Hunted Phantasm was always my jam with it. I had a casual deck that did that a long time ago. Um, the, the, that Because you would bring in the five goblins and they were all legendary, so they would all explode. Um, I worked with any oh, of geez. the hunted guys. There's also Strato Zeppelin, which is a beast. Mm, do we want that over? I'd still Hunter. rather have the Blind Hunter, honestly, because I love Blind Hunter. Okay, uh, we have Dowson like, Gloom. I was say I'm looking at Dowson Gloom in here, which is like okay. We we've played Dowson Gloom a lot. There's also the Droning Bureaucrats, which is. They're okay. Uh, they're really good against tokens. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I appreciate and love the droning bureaucrats because they use one of my favorite gags, which is the, the, the scroll that goes too long. They also have... they I like the flavor text yeah. on it. It's just funny that this is an Orzhov card. This is not an Orzhov card. Well, it's not, it doesn't this have, is an Azorius card. Well, it's not an Orzhov card. It doesn't have the... Oh, yeah, but it... it it's, like Azorius didn't exist yet, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but they still put like cards of the other guilds. It like Char is actually an is it card. We're in pack two. Uh, like Char flavor text calls it out as an is it card. Uh, you know that sort of thing. So like they did like in the guilds before they came out, they put some cards for them because the, you know they, ha they obviously the other guilds exist and they have to you know. I refuse to believe they exist. I don't know what I don't believe in object permanence. Whatever. If, we... if I can't see something, it's not. It's not there. Uh, probably like uh, throw here. Tapper or a off-color signet. That's way off-color. <laughs> Agent of Masks is fun in multiplayer, but not fun in limited. He's well. She's okay in limited. This card. As okay, as so one, two, three, I want you. I want you to take a look at Agent of Masks and see if this card looks familiar to some people who have played uh, Battle for Zendikar. Oh, you mean this, but flies? Also minus <laughs> two four mana. mana. Yeah, two, three mana, sorry. That's a three mana... It's a wind drake with that ability. No, no, I was thinking... There's also one in... Oof, that's a Azure Drake that does something similar. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. I was, I'm thinking of Drana's Emissary, which is... Yeah, a Drana's Emissary, yeah. Which is the same text, but uh, on a 2-2 two -two flyer, which makes it a lot better. Also, it's a vampire. So it can block Stromkirk Noble. Yeah, I will take. I will definitely take uh, Austeri Thrill because it's a tapper, and removal is nice to have around. It's one of the worse tappers, but it's still a tapper. Uh, Storm Herd. I would be like not ten mana spells, I guess. Right. Uh, Goblin Flectomancer is one of my favorite guys. Yes, Goblin Flectomancer is pretty great. Uh, I love his hat. Yes. <laughs> Bobble like the horn. Yeah, in the when that when, in the <laughs> sketch of this of that art, it's not a horn yet. It's just a fork. Yep. It later became as. It's like Plague Rasulka good enough. Maybe like like, a, like Crystal yeah, Seer is like Crystal Seer. Crystal Seer is garbage though. Like it is really, really bad. bad. Like Storm, I could just pick Storm Herd and like try to go to town like that, but you know, like we're not. We didn't pick any of the signets. Right, but that doesn't mean yeah. we couldn't get it. And also, think of think of how good Stormhood would be with Plague Rasulka. Uh -huh. Well, then we'll get it on the wheel then. Yeah, we'll no one's going to pick it. a ten mana spell. Yeah, nobody. Somebody might pick it to be like, it's this because of my EDH deck on Magic Online. Do people play EDH Online? They probably do. These are miserable people Thank who do you. that. Oh. Hey, Basilica. There's also shrieking grotesque, aka mm. the best three. I think we have to pick the fixing. We have to. Harsh. Um... Although, pick the grotesque if you want to live free and die young. 
There's also Orzova, which is kind of yeah. lame. Oh, sweet. Check out the rare. Yeah, this is... I we, Last <laughs> time we saw this, I also said what I will say now. That should have been a BFZ card. Yeah, what the hell? Like this, well, it is, and I'll say what I said. It is a BFZ card. It costs two mana. It was on a 2-3 Vigilance. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, card unreasonable. Yeah, Earth, Earth Surge is really funny in this block because there's like literally, I think, three ways to make a land into a, a creature in the entirety of the block, mm-hmm. which is just kind of funny. Oh well. <laughs> hey, well, more is good. I'll take more. More uh, is oh. good. Although we're picking, you want to pick repeal now, or do you want to pick the Basilica? I want to pick more bounce lands, or do I want repeal? Hmm. Man, that's harsh. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep bouncing. Gonna keep... Let's let's bounce. Let's keep bounce landing. What does Aether Plasm do? That is so much text. Uh, when it blocks, you can bounce your hand and replace it with another creature. Uh, so the cards here are Withstand, uh, Train of Thought, and Morning Thrall. Morning Thrall. Yeah. Withstand is like a tr- a good trick. Yeah, I'm, lo- like, I'm it's looking. A counter between... to, it's like a counter to Wild Size. Yeah, I'm thinking of that, or like... There's the Skeleton. Yeah. Which is skeleton, skeleton. I pl- skeleton I played in, like, Sealed before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aetherplasm basically does have Reverse Ninja, too. Yeah, Reverse Ninja, too. And then, like, Morning Thrall sucks, but it's, it's a lifelinker on It's the funny, because, like, the card's ag- just, like, fine, but also sucks. But it's just fine, but also it's sucks. It's fine, it also sucks. Um, Order of the Stars. Yeah, it's like or or is absolver Having one of those kind of effects is probably also, okay. Also, check out this freaking gruel in this pack. Holy hell! And we no, might be in is, the wrong this, colors. Well, this is out. this isn't a limited card. I have played the hell out of Scam Clan Mauler and limited. I played the hell out of Scam Clan Mauler. <laughs> yeah, not, not limited like, though. It's a it's a really sweet card. Less uh. One drops to make it work. Yeah, I'll pick a creature so that I have another guy. Um, Conjures ban, Leyline, Giga Drowns. Eh, Giga Drowns is probably. I don't think this Leyline's doing anything. Giga Drowns won't be so good in our deck, but it'll be okay. Conjurer's Band is hard to use. Bloodscale Prowler is a fine creature, but we're not red. Conjurer's Band combos with bounce spells to make Reflector Mage. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you, you spend can all, use you spend the all your resources. We t- well, it works with remand too. I'm gonna pick a late line. Uh, looks like I'm getting myself like a poison belly ogre here. Either that or a four mana two two flyer. I already have a four mana two two flyer, mm-hmm. and I don't want to. And it's like the same red activation that I don't want. Mm-hmm. Although, yeah, torch trick's okay if you're in that area. The maverick. <laughs> Do you want to steal the Rasulka? Uh, sure, I'll take bad mage bar. Hey, sweet, I'll play that actually. Like, there's a chance I wouldn't play it, but with two bounce lands, like, I think I can afford it. I think uh, we can likely afford it. Okay. It sucks, but it, it helps you grind it out. And we get a weird card for our last pick. Yeah. Let's hope for a really sweet Azorius card, so our deck can, like, go somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna take out Poison Belly Ogre, because Netherborn Felix is basically that, but on the front. <sighs> the black looks all right. The blue look actually everything looks like fine. It, the early cur- the curve looks kind of bad right now, so that needs to be fixed. Uh, I want a whole lot of Azorius first wings. First wings. I want to say first wings. <laughs> Give me every first wing. Like every Azorius first wing you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Give me every first wing, and I will accept it. Like I will. Or like Sky Court has a Hussar. Give me. Uh, well, there's Rakdos Pit Dragon. Hey. Okay, well, we got three choices in here that stand out to me. You can splash... Okay, there's Seal of Doom. Uh-huh. There's Azorius Chancery. Uh-huh. And I don't see the third pick you're talking about. Left side. F- free oh, f- uh, the, yeah, the Equinaut. It's yeah, Wind Drake. Free Wind Equinaut. Uh, Infiltrator's Mage Mark is fine. The problem is, like, you play it, and they play a removal spell, and you get two for one. That's the old trick with auras. That's about it. That, that's that's basically the problem with it is you just get owned on a two for one. I actually think I want that seal of doom. Seal of doom <laughs> is a fine removal spell. Like not, I've... 
non-black creatures a little worse in this format because of multicolored shenanigans, but it's also, like, it will do. It's also, like, it's a kill spell I get to put on the table and just be like, yo, let's yeah. rock. I have played Dark Banishing for many, many, many years, and that's basically it. The Frog Link is really powerful. I freaking love this frog. All the toads in this in this format are really great. This is, <laughs> There's this, no... is a, this is really good. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, they don't even explain how the toad makes a beam. It just happens. <laughs> Look, the toad has a beam. You have to accept it. Uh, you want to pick Seal of Doom again? You could pick Seal of Doom. Uh, we're not a rat catcher deck. I don't think anybody uh, is. Uh, Actually, no. The rat catch. I like how they have rat catcher, and then in the future they have the other thing. Yeah, they have the other thing, which is the better card. That card. Yeah, like, I can pick well, Seal that card of Doom. Just... Oh, I've seen limited games get run over by that stupid freaking ogre. Yep. It's amazing. Seal of Doom oh. versus Signet is looking like the pick here. I'm also going to put a shout out for Rise Fall because we're, we're on the side where it's really good because Rise is the... But the, both the sides of the card are great. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Overrule is also playable. Overrule table. I mean, it'll play. It's a table. It's just playable. Yeah. Tableable. Uh, unlike Hazda Exonerator there, which is not playable. No. Or Whiptail Moloch. Also, there's double Hazda Exonerator in this pack? What the hell? Yeah. There's also Coiling Oracle. That card yeah. Rules. I'm probably not getting anything back, but if I do, I would like it to be Rise Fall. Like, I I don't think probably that's coming not. back. We're but... getting, like, Stealing Stance and ha ha double Hazda Exonerator. Uh, Plumes of Peace versus search your library for a multicolored card versus so plumes of peace versus free wind equinot um just flat removal removal or creature we're a little creature light right now true true i don't know if that's so bad might not be so bad. One of our creatures is Carry and Howler, I guess, is another thing. We're playing some no, a few dregs. Oh, there's a few creatures we could bring in if we need them, like that Screeching Griffin. Right, we, we have a couple others on the board that are okay. I'm just trying to figure out what is best here. Like, Free Wind oh, Equinot okay. just is. <laughs> Removal versus a flyer. My, my tiny ape brain can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, what? I'm supposed to play both of these. Uh, 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 the Soul Sword Jury is also pretty good. Yeah, it's I more like, likely to wheel though. I like that card. Uh, looking like wow, might even might be like Silk Wing Scout. Just Dusk Imp. <laughs> good old Dusk Imp. Like, I'm comparing it to everything else in here, and nothing else really stands out to me as far as in my Sky Scrabbing isn't a card for <laughs> most situations. I don't think I guess it's Karom. Well, we need creatures for that. Uh, yeah. Plumes of Peace is usually, like, can tap creatures, like, on your upkeep, which is, like, offensively fine, but... We only have four cards for the Enigma Eidolon. Yeah, I don't like that. And the activation on the Eidolon isn't that good. That's not the power of the Eidolon. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the power of the Eidolons is that you just uh, use them as cards you can draw. Yeah. Like you admit you're 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 like you're drawing a bad creature, but you're still drawing a creature. That's what you use them for. I've seen I've seen them be quite good in specific decks where you you do have the recursion a lot, and also like you have some reason to like discard them. Is usually the yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, so, what does right? What does trial error do? I forget. It's got bounce all blocked and blocking creatures, and then also counter target multi colored spell. That'd be nice on the wheel. <laughs> Trial error is cool, but Azori's first wing was the card we're looking for. Like, yeah, we want. Uh, we really like. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Gaia Skyfolk. Yeah, Gaia Skyfolk with upside, basically. Like in the, in in what we have, it's not like we have things that are going on it that are poor. Uh, Demons Jester versus Ocular Halo is what it's looking like to me. Um, the aura gets a little worse without with lack of creature. Demon's Gesture is probably just going to be a 4-mana 2-2. Two, two. 
flyer. Right, we have, uh, we have a decent amount of cards, which we have. so like we already have four mana two two flyer. Like I don't see us being empty handed very often. Uh, do you do you want to pick a way to draw some card then? Kind of thinking that. Like I'm thinking I'm thinking demon jester is cool. It's just that like it's going to be much rarer that we're empty handed. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, this is like the third X bitter I've seen. Yeah, and people going into zoo X bitter is a. One of the better pingers ever printed. This guy's very good. Yeah, not not the best. That uh, not there, not the there, best. there's a couple I, that would be at the top of that list. Uh, uh, Volshock Sorcerer and what's the one? Cunning Spark yeah, Mage. Yeah, Cortisar. The one they used with that cunning, haste. Cunning, cunning, cunning Spark Mage. Yeah, Cunning Spark Mage. I would all that card was them. only super great because it was around with uh, the collar. collar though. <laughs> yeah, but it was basically a Volshock Sorcerer with a, a, a better color. Like, mm-hmm. only red instead of double red on Volshock Sorcerer. Like, the one power on Volshock Sorcerer doesn't freaking matter. It's a pinger. Who cares? It's a pinger. Who cares? There's one of the ways somebody's Earth Surge is going to work right there. Yeah. Wait, no, that's no, that, different. The, that's different. That is not a way Earth Surge works. Earth Surge doesn't it's, function. That's still a good card, though. The Leaf Drake Roost. I've seen people so, lose the taste for Mayhem. I've seen that. So, you, anyway, Court Freaking Hussar, which is a standard card that was played a ton. Uh, looking like... Wow! <laughs> Rakdos is open. Look at that, Rakdos. Uh, don't have an overrule in our yeah, deck. Say, I think we're taking an overrule, because nothing else matters here. I like, uh... Not Spell Blast, but... Condescend has Scry on it. Yeah. But this is similar. Has... Spell Blast really sucks. I don't know why I thought it was Spell Blast. Uh, Alright, so monocolored versus multicolored protection. Do you want a 5 mana 4 2 or a 4 mana 2 3? I guess there's also Riot Spikes as a way to kill one toughness creatures. I don't really care about Riot Spikes that much. I'm also kind of stunned to see Hit Run because that's like a good edict. Yeah, Hit's really sweet. I guess that makes sense with the Rakdos we just saw. Um, I think I'm going to go with the protection from multicolored. God, which one's better? Yeah, let's go with the. Let's, let's go with that. We have no 5 drops. Here's a 5. Yeah, and obviously I get two exonerators and like some bad cards. Yeah, so no exonerator for the board. We'll Thank probably you. Get one. Wow, sweet! I love Horn Turtle in a defensive deck. So proper burial was a card I played in my Doran EDH deck. That's funny. This was, this what did was... you use the life for? I guess is the question. Um, Tree of Life. But because I'm a because I'm a giant hell okay. fucker, I had I, I wasn't just go, I knew there was a reason. Uh, but also just Jim's to like Erickson gain forty does life. Not gain life for no reason. Every once in a while, I wanted to gain life because in, in when you're playing the aggro deck and elder, people want to beat the shit out of you. So like having it, a life total that's double your normal life total makes things a lot harder for them to just beat you. Uh, here's some. Oh, I miss ah, you. Kill you can block some land walk. Ah, the same cards. Ah, Psychotic Fury. Uh, Grim Feast was also in there, because, but, like, they were both in there. Like, Elder, I and I used the life for a couple other things. Uh, having Sarah Ascendant in your deck is a reason to ha- gain life. Um, even though... That card's he, bullshit in Elder. You yeah, just start with an actor. You start with it. That's, that's, that was the aggro card of choice, you know? It was like, turn one, you'd play that, and your opponent would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like you know, and so we need to make like two cuts. Enigma Eidolon. Enigma Eidolon, and then add not creature. Hopefully, oh, maybe enemy if the good fact. I was almost thinking Ghost of the Innocent too, but <laughs> Ghost of the Innocent means it's gonna take sixteen years to to for us to get murdered yeah let's let's take out ghost of the innocent for one okay here's a way to know we're cutting ghost of the innocent that is a seven mana two five well the two ten okay seven mana two <laughs> ten i don't like seven mana two ten if there if there's a world where it's good uh, maybe i'd play it but do i want more like shitty flyers i don't think so it could like cut over rule for a shitty flyer. I'm okay with over, I'm okay with overrule. I'm okay with what this looks like right now. Like this is pretty like even perplex. on the colors. Black gets a bit of the nod, but that's because it has three bounce lands. So that's fine. So like the mana base actually perplex. I don't like too much. But 
We want to play a shitty flyer over Perplex. Man. I guess the uh, Perplex can grab Douse and Gloom, Seal of Doom, Seal of Doom. And and some actual, or, like, cards. And some Cortisar with Stan, Souls for Injury. It has a ton of targets. Of peace. I think it has enough targets that I'm willing to keep Perplex in. Mm -hmm. Like, just being, basically being able to grab, like, Plumes of Peace. That's, like... I the think go the world where card. Ghost of the Innocence is good is when you can make your opponent lose life instead of damage. Hmm. Or Zova also takes a million years to kill your opponent. <laughs> yeah. <is> the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't win. If the opponent's like tokens dot deck, we bring in the goat. Hell, maybe we yeah, find we bring out. In, we, we were almost pre boarded against tokens. We have the Poison Belly Ogre and the Netherborn Phalanx in the deck. Well, the Poison Belly's out. That's, that's over here. Oh, well, yeah. The, the, the Phalanx is, but the Ogre is out. So, it, I like this because the Phalanx is good against a bunch of creatures, and this is good against one creature. Uh huh. Yeah. See. Yeah, and they both can draw cards. Uh huh. Because you can just turn the they turn into the the phalanx can turn into the twisted justice. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the mana basically even with. Uh, it looks like blue and uh, like. What does suggested Ron say? Ignoring yeah. the forest, it's going to make us play for Silk Queen Scout. It wants. Five white, but I'm actually going to give it to blue because white has two bounce lands. Yeah. Also, no four. They, the deck does not want us to activate Silkweed Scout. Yeah, no Silkweed Scout activation. They understand that we're playing Dusk Imp. I'm completely fine playing Dusk Imp. It'll be just fine. I that wish was... it was the better Dusk Imp, but I picked the bounce land over it, and the bounce <laughs> land will do us a, a world of good. So Being able to cast our spells will let us beat the players who can't. Um, I, I had good things at the pre-release teaching a a a, a person <laughs> there that you should play Dusk Imp. I uh my my first round in the pre-release was against a player who had never been to a tournament before, so I I kind of had to walk them through the uh like they thought after I beat them in game one they they had to leave. Oh no no we're playing Swiss my friend <laughs> you're here the whole time well, you can't leave. Well like not only like do you get to play other rounds but it's best of three not one. Yeah best of three yeah that they, was they had built rounds. a very good deck though uh, because they had opened Sigarda and decided well what if I just play every white green human and that turned out to be a very powerful pile of cards. Yeah white green humans is a very good deck especially if you can like squeeze a mole in there or something. I like the mole a lot. <laughs> Yeah. The most cute. And that was round two for me. I mm. was like reminding a woman who was there with her sons that uh she should draw a card every turn. Ah, uh, that's probably worth doing, yes. Yeah. We uh but no, I, I felt like I was cheating all day because I would do things like, hmm, turn five. I'm gonna play Tormenting Voice discarding the, the those youths, the arrogant youths or whatever, the 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 four three hasters. And it's like, oh well my four three haste has Moldrifter attached to it? Holy hell, this sounds great. Like Yeah. Uh, well it's not actually Moldrifter because it's two cards for two, so it's like a draw it's replace one, but or that or like, oh, you have a guy that's tapped? Um I'm gonna play Tormenting Voice, discard murderous compulsion, kill your guy, draw two cards. Oh, that's weird. That's like really that's... good. Or, oh, That's the deck. I, I mid, really mid, to mid combat. You think you're gonna win this combat? Uh, I'll pay one. Lightning axe that guy. Discard fiery temper. Fiery temper that guy. How about you just leave? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> like, uh, you were you had the deck I wanted to play. Oh, I had, no. yeah. I, it was fucking. It fucking ruled. I I didn't drop a game until the last round when like uh when I tried to play off of a two lander. I had the uh. My favorite game I got to play was uh, against a blue-white opponent who had only flyers. All of the creatures in their deck either had flying or made flyers. Um, like the 3-2 that you can yeah, remove that... from your graveyard to make a token. That so, card's good. So he gets me to... In game one, he doesn't ha have any... Cre he only plays one creature. And it's like the 2-1... Rattle Chains? The 2-1... Yeah, the uh, the spirit liker. Yeah, he he plays that, and then he gives it Geist of Saint Traft and attacks me for a six, and I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> wow. So so I outrage. I go to two after three attacks, and then kill him back. 
Um, in game two, uh, he gets me to five, and I have out the I have out. Uh, our, he gets me to eight, and I play uh, Arlen, which is my only green splash in my deck. Um, and like Good go longer. ahead, like go ahead and he goes ahead and decides I'm going to ignore Arlen, and ne- on the turn after that, I draw the two mana enchantment that make that lets you discard cards to make. Oh, vampires? Vampires. Oh, that card is so good. Holy, so all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'll give my vampires plus two, plus two Vigilant. Uh, like, I made a vampire on his turn discarding Murderous Compulsion to kill a guy, leaving him with one guy and me at five. Um, And so on my turn, or he goes, uh, <laughs> he plays out, like, he has a three, two, and that's his only creature. And I'm at five, and he plays Phantom, the the Phantom Wings or whatever that gives it plus one plus one flying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, the let's let you sack it to bounce. Yeah, discard a card to bounce it. I just oh yeah, better than that. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so well, not better, but like anyway, so he can hit me to one, and so he hits me to one, and I have out a a one one at the end of the turn. I make another one one. Mm-hmm. And so I have a one one, and then I have that one one equipment that flips into plus three plus three. Oh, but it's just that... but it's just the one one. I don't have any transform cards other than Arlen, and I can't equip the Arlen. So, oh, so you're just playing it as. So yeah. I look at my opponent. And I look at like what he's been doing. And I look down, and I have a one one vampire and a two two vampire, and I have Arlen able to pump plus two plus two vigilance. And I sit there and think, and I'm like, I'll pump the one one, swing for five, lifelink, and like. You know, past the turn, he d- draws, plays like a blue spell that lets him look at the top two, pick one. But yeah, that's a bad grave. impulse. Yeah, but it has madness, so it's good. Um, he well, does, but he didn't play it at madness; he just played it. Yeah. And then he plays a a hill giant that gives plus one plus one to his team, and he hits me for five in the air, bringing me back, back down to one, and then I kill him back. Uh, with yeah. my team. But he he at, after that, he flipped out his hand and he was holding the Smite the Monstrous that I played around. I just laughed my head off because he was just like, you're so lucky. It's like there was no luck involved with that choice, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, well, let's look at this hand. This looks like a good hand to this me. A good hand. Yeah, keep. It's a sweet hand. We're going to have to discard it. <laughs> That's fine. What do we discard? The Phalanx? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Blood Crypt, huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out what we discard when we get to it. It's Perplex. Got yeah, it. I was just saying, I figured, against the Rakdos deck? Oh boy! <laughs> wow, he is... Our opponent is never going to have an untapped land. I'm going to discard Island. Okay, since we drew Island, that's fine. Perplex is actually fine at this point in the game. Yeah. And the trick with being Hellbent is if you have no permanent, who cares if you're <laughs> Hellbent? It's like, very right. few spells. Like, you could top deck, care about it. I do I mean, care. watch him draw, like, Cackling Flames or ah, whatever. Ah, four colors. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. That's a good card. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and cast Perplex on whatever he plays on four. Yeah, just uh. Just to get it done. Yeah, no use p- keeping seal of we seal of doom on the table when we're holding a a counter. Like I could play seal of doom too, but I want to use the perplex while it's good. Yeah. Whereas seal of doom will always be good. Shock. Take the shock. Take the shock. Oh, okay. Our opponent might not be doing anything oh, this turn. Uh, transmute no. is uh, discard the card. I play the transmute cost. Tutor for a co- a card that costs the same CMC. Yep. I believe it's sorcery speed. Hey. That's a good card to get rid of. It is sorcery speed, right? It's sorcery speed. Yeah, and you, so it's you can tutor your cards with it. So basically, we could turn perplex into like wings of. Plumes of Peace or whatever, or Seal of Doom. Yeah. We have a lot of removal with our stuff here, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Please discard your I'm... hand. <laughs> Waiting to think. They could discard. I would I would 
love it because I would just untap play Seal of Doom and kill a Plaxcaster Frogling. Like, this game would be over. Yeah, that would be, like, that would be just... <laughs> okay, so we're oh, just going to... Their uh, hand was garbage, so they just took it. Do <laughs> we just murder the... We murder the frog. We murder the frog, okay. Yeah, um... Six for frogs. So Perplex just was a six for one. Yeah, I love casting uh, Fugue, but better, or whatever. <laughs> I guess our opponent's hand was garbage. It was literally four lands on appeal from reality, like, and a Smog Steed Rider. Yeah, but now they're on top decks, and they got... <laughs> oh, no, 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 that, 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 Perplex is the hand. <laughs> our opponent's you know, held per Perplex is still, like, Perplex is playable. It's not unplayable. <laughs> It was just like discard a card. Who the hell would ever get countered by that? Shambling shell. All right. Ah, I'm gonna play the enemy in the guild pact. That'll stop shambling shell from attacking. Well, it won't, we'll, we'll be uh, menaced by gray ogre somewhere though. That's fine. We'll find a way around menacing gray ogres by playing a six man off uh, four two. <laughs> if we can hit the mana. We might just be playing, like, a I'm tapper fine. or a uh, blind hunter. Or blind hunter, which I'm completely fine with, too. Okay, Golgari Thug, which doesn't do too terribly much. Uh, that's ah, everybody no. I'm staying at home. Yeah. Sweet, I'm going to play another born Phalanx, then. Just nug him for three, nug us for... No, it doesn't nug us. Doesn't... This card is... Yeah, it, no, it's, We're it's calling it player. Poison Belly Ogre, it's but it's player. not it's Poison Belly Ogre. It's each player. Each opponent. Or, sorry, no, it is each opponent. Sorry, Poison Belly Ogre is each player. <laughs> Each po uh, poison belly is each your is opponent. Yeah, this one. Th yeah, I have to. Again, I don't read cards. Come on. This is pretty well known. About I try me. to. I've been trying to read cards. So I guess I'm, I want to play out the the blind hunter. And, anyway, we have we have yeah. we have infinite defenses now, so this feels good. Okay. Ray flying, trying to get clock going. Yep. The freaking mind twist. <laughs> that was a mind twist. It was. I don't know why our opponent did that. I I guess they really thought they they had all four colors yeah, and that their six eight. cards oh. were garbage. So this is like a lotus or something on its activation. Yeah. Yeah, it's loaded. Okay. It's probably like the more playable of the. Yeah! The Cortes are. So we want to do it this way. And then we get to pick one of the top three. First wing? Uh, probably, for, yeah, first wing. Yeah, first wing. Sad we can't play it immediately, but. Well, we get to play. We get down to we thrall. do get to play the Thrall immediately. Which lets us get in some more. Yeah. Add Blind Hunter in. Yep. I've also got a Fates Fetters in the pocket, so... Tap around the field. Fates Fetters in the pocket. We can deal with literally anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can't deal with something that is a permanent who's main action is triggered abilities. That's <laughs> fair. Dark Confidant, you know? Yeah, but we can't deal with Bob with our with our current setup. Um, I guess I'm attacking and playing Azorius first wing. It seems fine. Do we want to tap anything to send anybody in? Uh, well, I, I need white mana. Ah, right, yeah. I have to play our first wing. I literally only have one white right now. <laughs> so we're playing this as... Yeah, three as, mana. As Windrake. Uh -huh. That's so, still okay. Here's Windrake. Windrake is cool. I'm going to hold the land back. Uh, there's no reason to... Our seven drop is not in our deck. Yeah, well, it's double white too, so who cares. So, Demir Aqueduct is do, pulling a lot of weight for our opponent, because four land, six mana. Yeah, Sever would be a problem, because of the Shambling Shell. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I have That'd be... I have things to sag to Savra. Yeah. Who cares? Like, I would get there before. <laughs> nice. Okay, I hear you like flying. We picked you over a signet. Snapping Drake, show your power. And playing a land doesn't let me activate Orzova, so there's no point in doing it. Oh, you want to do that? That'd be good. Yeah, please. Yeah, Pierce Graft. <laughs> there's a there is a card that wants you to opponent graft. It's really cool. Get the Mind Stealer. Yeah. With the Simic Entrancer or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they sack their Eidolon for uh, mana. For Coiling Oracle to pick up the Eidolon! <laughs> That's a good combo. That's fair. That's a good combo. I like that combo. Well played. Ah, uh, well, he make the Coiling Oracle a 2-2. Which changes Civic, the board's Civic power. Civic Growth Chamber yeah. comes into play. Our opponent's doing... Uh, <laughs> feeling similar things here. Also, that red seems like it's just playing Blood Crypt for the, the, the Blood Crypt existing, you know? There's no... Yeah. There might be a secret red splash, who knows? Yeah, maybe it's an activation, kind of like we had. Or maybe it's a Guild Mage activation. That's probably the best, would be a Guild Mage activation. I did win a game off... I was playing Rakdos Guild Mage as just minus what Hero Mountain came in and allowed me to mm -hmm. make two ones. Hooray! Like the big thing that has them on a fight is that they have they've drawn pretty heavily spells because their hand was just garbage lands. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, and they they got beat down by flying. Yeah, they got beat down by flyers. Uh, anything I want to change? Um. Well, Stone Shaker Shaman does actually nothing. And yeah, that card's garbage and doesn't function. Our opponent doesn't play islands, so no grayscale Gariel. <laughs> and let's just ship it back, I think. Yeah, let's just see where it leads. Yeah, the frog did die. That's true. That frog <laughs> was destined to die. Funnily I enough, see. This, uh, this does not combo. Do not attempt the combo. Yeah, don't. Yeah, protection from enchantments. However, uh, I I see a two a turn two first wing and also I see if our I... opponents considering a mold of five. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Where did that card go? Top. Mmm. I liked it. Extra card. Oh, they they must have made a. Oh side boy. Card. Utopia sprawl. Ramp. That's it. That's a good card. Mm hmm. Green. Yeah. Changing yeah. color is green. You usually don't. Wow, really? Uh, but yeah, usually. I, I was just going to say, you usually don't see uh, Utopia Sprawl when there's this many. Ah, oh, that's why. Sorry, ground, ground scale. When there's this many. Uh, ooh. Carriers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the the soul sworn jury is gonna get to come down uh, next. Block a grayscale forever. Yeah, or well, also be a, be a counter spell, which is good too. And here's coiling oracle trying to fix our opponent. Brain spoil revealed. Oh hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. By the way, bounce lands. Way to spin that float. By the way, bounce lands are good. Bounce lands are very good. They turn a mulligan into not a mulligan. Okay, so let's go ahead and play Soulsworn Jury. Man. That card's so good. Soulsworn Jury is a good blocker. I mean, it, it has like, remove soul on it too. So yeah, that's why I like it so much. Also, I like those ghosts, mm -hmm. the shape of them, the the sack ghosts. Man, we can also put Ocular Halo on that if we want. Yeah, if it's, a, so okay. if it's not attacking, you may as well... 2-2 uh... two, two Regenerator. Probably playing Blind Hunter next turn, though. Yeah. And 
get down that Basilica next turn. Yep. I guess we can play the Halo if we feel like we need to draw cards. I just feel okay with our hand at the moment. I'd rather have Flyers. Mm -hmm. So our opponent has Brain Spoil as one of the three cards left in their hand, but they don't have double, uh, double black. Also, I'm fine with them playing Assassin, you know, the the, the, the good old Assassinate. Yep, the five mana kill spell. Which doesn't work on the creature that has the Ocular Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the... So I guess we we put the we might put the ocular halo on the blind, blind hunter. hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Simic signet that does not produce black mana, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And they have yeah they can make a, a real attack. So I'll just soul sworn jury get in front of you. Barn turtle go. Heck, like, leaving up the Soul Sworn Jury next turn might be fine, too. Yeah, they just leave it up. Ooh, okay. They just leave up counter spells. Yeah. yeah. Rasulka. Rasulka, and then also, uh, Basilica. Yeah, yeah, it seems good. Attack for four. Bounce lands <laughs> are great. Part. Yeah, you want to graft onto that, that'd be fine. But yeah, four in the air is the real part of this that matters. That's also I have reach now, uh, not the keyword, but the ability to deal damage to my opponent yeah, at this, instant speed. Yeah, you can sack blind hunter and then sack whatever blind hunter haunts onto. Yep. Sack outlets are good kids. So yeah, I'm going to Don't perplex to the next card that guys. my opponent plays, if they still have like three cards in hand. I also have Soul Sworn Jury to, like, for certain stop something yeah, if it's that bad. It had to be an actual counter spell if we need it to be. Yeah. Because I can also just turn this Perplex into a removal spell. Yeah, like, go fetch, like, Plumes of Peace or uh, Seal, Seal of Doom. Doom. Seal of Doom. I think Seal of Doom is... Seal of Doom's Dark Banishing, so it should have a non-regen text on it, right? Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's actual Dark Banishing. It, yeah, it should just be Dark Banishing, that's what I thought. I mean, I don't have it in front of me, and I'm not going to look at it, so... Yeah, can't be regenerated. I am I have the luxury of being able to look it up. But I also just knew, because yeah, I'm I was the say, guy who loves like, Dark Banishing. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I assume it's Dark Banishing, so I know it's got to be good, right? Like, end turn. All right. Oh, waiting for Dark Void. Do you have a Do you have an effect here? Ah, maybe Perplex gets to do something. Probably not, but it might. Like he just cast Scatter the Seeds or something. <laughs> yeah, like what do I care about Scatter? Yeah. Scatter oh man, Scatter the Seeds, please. <laughs> yeah. Since we have flyers and access to Seal of Doom, we playing the Phalanx just to nug our opponent for three might actually be worth it. Oh my god, is my opponent going into to Giga Draft Zone? Yeah, figuring out how to make enough blue mana. Yeah, I think I think my opponent's moving into the Giga Draft Zone. I've got a pretty good feeling that that's the card yeah, that they, our opponent has. We're playing a Giga Draft, aren't we? Uh, no, we are not playing a Giga Draft. Uh I'm glad we aren't. <laughs> yeah, same. I remember us picking it. Okay. I'm not going to... Oh, he's targeting Island? <laughs> That's fair. So, Island, Flyer, Flyer. Okay. Yeah, that does its job. Um... Uh, we could land play the phalanx if we wanted to, right? I, pro I probably will. Um, Just to nug him for three, make flyers lethal next turn. He, or not lethal next he, turn. But... He did do this in combat, so I'm just gonna... 
I'm just going to let it happen. He's going to get yeah, to resolve we... something, but it shouldn't really be that bad. Mm -hmm. I, I could, like, try to perplex it, but what does that actually get me? I already did play a land this turn, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought we hadn't yet. Nope, we have. So, no phalanx this turn, because we, we did that in combat. He really wants his, uh... He must want, have a creature he wants resolved really badly, which, if if he does, then I just, like, go turn this into Seal of Doom and get rid of it. Like, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. He knows about both cards. I'll take the free kill, thank you very much. Unless he got a trick for us. Well, if he does, I just use Plague Resilk on counter it. Mm -hmm. Like, if he That's has plus plague two, If he goes plus two, plus two for each color of the creature, like, I just don't care. Or if he goes regenerate yeah. it and, you know, whatever, I just don't care. Like, it, this doesn't function. That's the reason I made this mm -hmm. block. Because I figured... would have to... Yeah, Wild Size wouldn't do it. Wild Size would suck because he wouldn't get the card. Yeah, we would just throw Rasulka at the at the Oracle. Peel from reality. Um Killing the guy counters that, right? No, because there's still t other target. That's right. I, for I always forget how split target things work. So, they come okay. up so rarely. All right, hold on. We want to So, activation, target, black. Choose target creature, play black. Sacrifice, sacrifice a permanent. So I just want, this is just me preventing him from replaying the Coiling Oracle. I still, my guy still gets bounced, but that's fine. Yeah, but we're, we're, he's thirsty right now is the point. We don't want him to have the card. Yeah. Another blue. Hmm. What do I want to do here? A lot of blue spells and not a lot of... I haven't been drawing our aqueduct or anything or yeah. island yeah I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do like seal of doom maybe could ocular halo <laughs> just to look for the other blue I could also just leaf up remand he's gotta smell something if we don't play that first wing again well but there's the obvious on board thing he might smell true I guess first we attack. Yeah, let's, I guess let's just do that first, because that's the obvious part of this. Like, there's no reason for waiting on that. The only reason to wait would be if we were going to play Ocular Halo, but which we're not. Now well, let's get the first wing back out there. Yeah, our opponent's at eight, having four in the air. Plus Your opponent's just dead next turn. Or not next turn. Yeah. If they produce two creatures, they're dead next turn. So I guess we don't want to counter his creatures anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I feel really confident in our position here. Like, we have four in the air. Like, yeah, he has two on us every turn, but, like, we have a lot of... Like, I have... Like, like, this transmute means I don't fear anything. Like he would have, he would have to play a black creature, but then I would just go get like plumes of peace or something like that, you know. Like I don't have any fears there because of the how much I can transmute. Uh, let's do this so that that's not. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, we uh, we had a real game of magic. Imagine that. I guess uh, while we're waiting. Yeah. Talking a bit about my pre-release experience. Yeah, go for it. It's the first time I've been to a pre-release in about ten years. <laughs> uh, it turns out whenever they reprint Fiery Temper, I show up. No, I hate that. With the sign. I uh, show up. It, I'm expecting like three or four rounds of Swiss. I didn't expect... Uh, so many, like, 40 people to show up. And I was like, okay, we're six rounds of magic tonight. And I was like, uh... <laughs> it's supposed to snow tonight. I don't want to drive home at 1 a.m. in the snow. But I did. I, <laughs> I had to talk our uh, TO down from five rounds. At our midnight event. Jeez. I was like, do you want to be here till 6.30 a.m.? And he's like, no. Because I have to be here at 11. I'm like... 
but how 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 was your draft? How or not? How was your seal? How was the actual? Uh, event? My pool, my pool was really sweet, except I had no sideboard at all. Like, <laughs> I had really, I had just enough really good white and green cards to have a really sweet green white deck. I just had no rounds. I mean, no 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 sideboard at all. My sideboard was I had two hibernates. <laughs> and a green blue duel. Mmm. <laughs> so it would be splashing blue for hibernate for more removal. Because my deck only had like three pieces of removal in it. For if you count the mythic I opened. It looked uh, like uh Yeah, I did I had, see I did see your pool, Kavanaugh. I had uh the bite. Man bites dog. I don't know the name of that spell and I never will, because it's man bites dog. That card's obscene. That card's pretty good. Uh, it's no Hadouken, and it's not even Follow the Hammer, which was also a really sweet spell. But it's still really good. Yeah, I would say, yeah, still incredibly good. Uh, the obscene one is the one red, your werewolves, all your wolves and werewolves punch a guy at instant speed. That card is <laughs> fucking nuts. Uh, there's also, like, five mana for... Two target blocking creatures fight each other. <laughs> I've never I, I I had that in my pool. I was playing red black, splashing green, and I didn't play that because I just was like, what is this I I couldn't see a scenario where that was what I wanted. But I knew I know the scenario exists and I, if you ever cast that spell, it's probably a blowout. Yeah. You just have to cast it. <laughs> right. You just have to cast it. Um but I was Mostly three mana three twos with some really mm -hmm. good bears, and Archangel Avison, which was the reason I was in white. And <laughs> although I also had like a puncturing light, which was my piece of real ass removal. Right. And but yeah, and I also had Tireless Tracker, another three mana three two. That card's really good. I don't know if it's good enough for like any constructed format or not, but. It's maybe it kind of ends the game on its own if you don't answer it, and it draws cards, and Which that's one? like a tireless the, the, tracker. That card, a green for three two. Th that card, fall investigate. I played against that card against a person who had fetches. Yeah, I had a fetch too. Like holy, <laughs> like that card was hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plus, it get it feeds itself. Like it really, it just yeah. it slices, it dices, it does everything. Um, also had a bygone bishop in my pool, and that card was pretty. I, had, I was kind like of low on flyers, but that thing like a also. Clues. Like I had bygone bishop, which made a lot of clues. The tracker made a lot of clues. I had that. Uh, hill giant. Uh, the hill giant, and I actually did get to aether vial something in at some point, but it was just. Uh, <laughs> you I just, got to put. You just it was did a draw ogre. Three. Like you, you sack the clues, and then in step I put in that pious. Gray ogre that flips into it. That guy. Okay. He's oh, okay. He's fine. not great. That's fine. Yeah. I but I was holding Avis and I was like, should I really? <laughs> should I? Should I Aether Vial in this creature with Flash, or should I just cast it in combat? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I wanted to be in red black because I opened uh that two mana three one vampire lady who bobs. If any player is hellbent, and a foil flame blade angel, but I was like, I was, I, was, I, got, I got to Ooh pack boy. four or three. I was like, okay, I opened a thirty dollar bill. I guess I'm playing white. <laughs> Most of the night, it didn't matter. Uh, I didn't draw Avison that much. Was it ever? I definitely. A, was it ever um, a hyper blowout? I the entire last round, both got decided by by Avison. Okay. And I felt a little bad because I was playing against the other really good player at the at the uh, the event. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, you have a good deck. I'm I'm just gonna blow you out now. Bye. <laughs> my I'm sorry. So I, I talked about my my deck a little bit. I had like my black I, I was black uh black red madness like very heavily. Two copies of Murder's Compulsion, Fiery Temper, the three four with haste, the. Uh, Oh god, what other madness cards were there? There were a number of uh, Avacyn's Judgment, the, yeah, the, the fire, the, which is also the fire rolling thunder. Yeah. Did you have uh, the dogs? 
the, Which, the, the, the child of vampire babies. The no, 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 they do not have any dogs. I wanted I one. saw that card getting played to good I effect. I would have liked it because I would have liked more cards with Madness, honestly. But, th so, anyway, in round one, I played against a pl the player I talked about who was, like, new at the game, and he was playing the green-white human stack, which was... He, he played it very well, and, like like, was doing just fine. It was just that, like, I was able to, like, haste, like, run him out of the game uh, too yeah, early just... before he got to Sigarda, which... Oh, uh, he was playing Sigarda. The reason yeah, he built was... green-white humans is because he opened Sigarda, and he's like, well, I have Sigarda, let's do this. That was my last round opponent, who was... Uh, um, my... Uh, he was red-black, splashing white-green for Sigarda. <laughs> okay, that rules. <laughs> and the, uh... So my round two opponent was the blue white flyers player I talked about, who uh, was also like the one of the judges at the event, like in the sense of like he he's an L one judge like I am. Um, yeah. But like he was he was incredibly angry that I I beat him in both games. Like he was incensed that like his deck did not function and was and was extremely vocal about it to me and everybody who would listen to him, which. That's, like, that's a bit of a guess. Yeah, like it just it was it was literally the next thirty minutes after the game. I he like would follow me around and tell me about how uh, like there's no way I should have actually won both of those games, and the fact that he put me to one sh proved it. And I'm like one eight zero. I was like, look. He's like, I you know I should have blown you out with that smite the monster. It's like, look, I knew you had it. I wasn't gonna let you blow me out with it. Yeah. Round round three, I played against werewolves, um, who their rares were. Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, in, in, I played against werewolf player who uh, was basically their their deck was incredibly good. Uh, they had the five five for five wolf that like when you attack with it, pay two or three, discard a card, and just. Like oh the ash blast guy. something yeah yeah the red mythic that card's and, really good <laughs> and and the flame blade angel those that was their curve yeah. in both games was five that six the other and I was just like uh he he goes to combat in game one and attacks with the angel and like the wolf and discards a card to kill something I'm like all right cool um lightning axe kill your wolf discard murderous compulsion kill your other bomb and it's just like. I see well, why you're undefeated. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then in game two, he didn't. He was off green mana for too long. Uh, he found green, which let him find a second green, but he just was not able to uh, to pull out. But in round four, I played against the same werewolf deck with the exact same rares, except for he had four other rares in his pool he was playing, and also a bunch of removal. So he just crushed my face. Also, that was that was, that was my the, round. Yeah. I was gonna say also like the in the la like the first game I I got him down to like five on my two lander like that never saw the third and I felt really good about that I'm just That's like I'm I'm here to crush you the relentless dead are really good by the way by the the, the minis oh man how many times did that guy come back uh in in the so in that first game against the uh, the person with the flame blade angel in and the 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 hound. In round one, like, I kill that, and he still has a bunch of werewolves. And I have a bunch of tutus, including the, the, the Relentless Dead. And he's just sitting there like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. I can't attack. I don't want to attack. I can't, like, you know, like, God, we're both sitting there like, nobody's doing anything. We're both at, like, 12, and he, and he just gets bored with it. And he's like, I attack all out. And I'm like, block, block, double block. Trigger Relentless Dead, double Trigger Relentless Dead, pick it up, pick up a Death Touch Zombie from my grave, your entire team's dead, I have three creatures. Anything, Amazing. Anything else? And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. Uh, yeah. Uh, my round four opponent was Infinite Removal Guy. That was, he had, uh, against him, was the, on the only game I lost was because he had double that Edict. <laughs> Ooh. He had the flip Necrotal, Ooh. a million murderous compulsions, and a sinister concoction. It was That's... just like removal, removal, removal. And then I have like one creature left, and he drops Soren. I was like, well, are you going to minus four Soren? He's like, yeah. <laughs> well, good game. That kind of rules. 
But he was weird because he was splashing green for something, and the only green card I saw was that green werewolf bear that impulses for a creature. And I'm like, buddy, your pool is sweet. You don't need to be <laughs> splashing green for a bear. My, my last round opponent was splashing black, and for quite a while I couldn't figure out what it was until in round in game two he throttles my creatures back to back, and I'm like, you're splashing black for throttle? And he's like, yeah, X three. And she's like, any removal? I'm like, I guess any removal will do. Like. Uh, I got to be right back. All right, we're we're going to be starting up, so Oh, and 2? No, I mean we won. What's, what's the Yeah, nobody nobody even made it to game 3. If we were in 0 and 2, we wouldn't still be here we're waiting for the draft to continue. But yeah, the Red Black Madness was incredibly fun. Um... <laughs> Madness just felt so busted. Yam sweet potato. Hmm. Yeah, because like right here it says Slyonine 02, which is incorrect. That's not actually how it happens. It's really weird. I don't like how this is set up. When's this new set coming to MTGO? Two weeks? I think two weeks. I want to say it's two weeks. So, get to draft it then. Opinions on new Hearthstone cards. I've seen some of them. Um, I they kind of go in and out of my head because I don't like only a couple of them seemed like super good. I remember there was a a shaman weapon that seemed pretty cool, like a four two weapon that made a four two, which seemed pretty nice. Oh yeah, I'm in. Keep. I don't even have to discard. This rules. All right, they're keeping their six. Oh, are they going to play? No, Order of the Stars. Oh, boy, Order of the Stars blind? Holy smokes, you're ballsy. <laughs> Damn. I'm just going to play turn one Order of the Stars because I have no idea what you're going to play. Oh, yeah, there's the Murloc that makes your hero power in the Murloc zone. Ooh, Celestine Evangel. That sucks, and I don't have a good way to deal with it. And our opponent already has a creature to uh, get rid of to it. Uh-oh. I don't like it. That's bad. Well, it's not like a miss. Like, blue is my color. It's just like it's my third color. Crap. I don't want to do this. I think I want to have Overrule slash Remand on, on three, but do I want Demir Aqueduct to do it? Then I won't be on white for a while. That's okay. So I guess our opponent's going to be using Evangel pretty heavily. Um, so I don't have Overrule up doing it this way, but I do get to have Remand up, which is probably just fine. I'm doing it this way so that I do have Remand up on the turn I play Basilica. Like, this is... <laughs> Bounce Land Hell. Plumes of Peace. Ooh. Well, I can't play that for a little while. I want to, but I cannot play it for a little while, so that's fine. So 
So I'd like my opponent to make a spell so that I can actually use remand, but that's fine if I don't have... if my opponent does not. I will have to discard, oddly enough. Yep. Alright, it begins. Oh, nice. I'm actually going to do this. Yeah, okay. Top Deck Planes is exactly what I needed there. Um, so... That's fine. So I'm down on remand for a little while. If my opponent does something silly, I can absolve or throw it. I have counter spells, but I can't use them, and my opponent's playing... Oh boy! Oh goodness! Help. Send help. Send a lot of help my direction. Um, want to do it this way. I see we're getting a little bit owned. <laughs> yeah, our opponent blindly played that Order of the Stars on turn one, naming blue, which is pretty funny. Um, I'm trying very hard to not die to a bunch of sapperlings right now, which is... Yeah, maybe... that's supply, eh? Yeah, also the Evangel that I found... I f top decked a land to answer. Goodness. Uh, so prevent the next three damage that would be dealt to that. Do we want to play the Thrall as just a warm body? <laughs> No, no, not a May. Absolutely okay. not, no. Not a May. <laughs> Do not. I remember how things work. It's the opposite of what we want to do. We want to uh, try to... Uh... Do you want to hold up... Yeah? Just hold up overrule for all, our, all the bananas to yeah. gain some life back. That's kind of my idea. I could have played Seal of Doom there and, like, remanded, but I'm fine with this, too. Oh, no, we're getting beat up by the Doctor. Yeah. Momir Vig over there. I'm willing to trade. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and okay, they just don't want nothing. All right, fine. Gonna play a Seal of Doom. And a Basilica. I guess they realize they don't really need anything else to win the game. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard. And now they're definitely not not going to commit a whole lot with Seal of Doom and play. Well, now we just Are we to... going to use Seal of Doom on a 1-1? Uh, no, that's actually bait so that I can play Absolver Throw. <laughs> but you target the I target, Seal of Doom I target and then the you seal of Doom crack and it. it. Yeah, and then crack it. Um... Do you want to remand that? <laughs> just to draw the card? Or do you want to... I don't think it does anything. I'd rather have yeah, Remand would... up. Yeah, it would just be Remand to draw a card. Land? Ooh, and Blind Hunter. Alright. Oh, man, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that thing I said. Um, which... You have 8 mana, right? Yeah, I could do both if I want to drop counters. Are we okay dropping counters? Absolutely with fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. Because we're going to be using Seal of Doom immediately. Okay. Like, I am not okay dropping counters. I guess what's the scariest you could have? Overrun? The bad overrun? So then I'm just going to sack it to... I'm not going to kill the Transluminant. Yeah, make him do that. Yeah, make him do that. Yep. 
the work we're going to for a 2-3. I know. And then, do I want to play the Basilica here or not? Playing Basilica on Swamp, or do you want to play Island? Just to have another land for Overrule. Yeah, let's keep Overrule, like, reasonable. So I have a blocker now. We have a blocker. A real blocker. And when he flips his Transluminant, I'll have a blocker for that. And then I'm just going to have to use these counter spells effectively. So, yep, okay. Um, he does that in our main, because that's how you have to do that. Because uh -huh. that's the next end step, so if he did it at end step, he wouldn't get that token until his end step, which would be kind of funny. That came up in the pre-release. There's a lot of end step triggers in, on transform things. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine with this. What, do you got like a wild size for us? No, he's probably just getting damage in. <laughs> he's just squeezing in damage. Wow, he is thirsty. He's going to be unhappy when Blind Hunter happens. Hey, Dowsing Blue. Uh, <laughs> can we just hold stuff up? But have Dowsing Gloom on instep? No, I want to play Blind Hunter. I mean, yeah, we're playing Blind Hunter. But... Yeah, I gotta do it this way. So, get my life back. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of life to gain. Because we have a thing hiding in our in our deck to Fates Feathers. Yes. So that's nice. Okay. Stabilization. Stable. <laughs> All right, we have stabilized. Also, our opponent has oh a color. Maybe, maybe overrule and remand to get to. Yeah, maybe remand goes really sweet on splashes. Yeah. Please tap one more. <laughs> yeah, you can do that later, but. <laughs> uh yeah, let's just go ahead, and it doesn't matter what I use for this. Yeah. Okay. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. What? Twisted Justice. My opponent controls a zero power creature. <laughs> well, he has a token too. He has tokens too. Oh, give me that. Do we want to play Seal of Doom? Or do we just want to hold up over uh, Overrule and Douse and Gloom for all the bananas? I think Overrule's enough. I'm going to attack with Absolver Thrill, though. Mm -hmm. Twisted Justice doing nothing. I think we board it out. Yeah. It becomes like a, a... It probably becomes a 4 mana 2-2 flyer. Yeah. Alright, so Blind Hunter again. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. It becomes Poison Belly Ogre. Yeah, that's good here. That's fine. Yeah, you can have your Vesper Ghoul. We don't care. I will likely... <laughs> You're a 3 mana 1-1 one, one that loses you life. You already have your black. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, for our Ghost Council. Man, we, we had Ghost Council, we would just be playing it. Uh, life Steal for one. Yeah. You lose a life. And then, do I want to down some bloom anything? Uh, we kind of want that for Blind Hunter in case it ever resolves. Because yeah, yeah, Seal of Doom doesn't work on that. It. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, let's just hold it. Oh, and a Convolute. <laughs> okay. This nothing happens. We win if this keeps happening. Oh, yeah, the, the ghost... Yeah, do we, do oh, we board in boy. ghost statues? Yeah. So we have some boarding to do. Don't care. I was going to say, I accept... So the Vesper Ghoul could actually have been like double secret fixing. Mm -hmm. I um, don't accept that actually. Well, we could discard the Chris of Justice. I, I don't want him to have a flyer. Oh well, yeah. Well, this is Fuck, I, I don't want him to have a flyer. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We want to overrule and just overrule to gain a bunch of life. Or no, he has, he has enough mana where we want to use convoluted where it's good. 
Yeah, we'll see convoluted where it works, which is now. Because, yeah, because we can it's not going to. We can charge the overrule to make it work just by keeping untapped. Which is what we're basically doing. Uh huh. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Attack with Blind Hunter? Uh -huh. Yes. The tables have turned, my friend. Like we tap or Zova because we will we have will we have enough to activate we, it? We, we, we do. Play the... We do if nothing happens, which means I'll leave it up. Yeah. And this leaves up double black and overrule. Yeah. Okay. This is the best way to do it. Monomath. Can you guess the counter spells are in our hand? It's all of them. Yeah, I wonder if our opponent actually has blue. Yeah. Because the Vesper Ghoul. His black seems like a splash as well. The hard to say with the So I think I'm okay allowing Blind Hunter because I can just seal douse and glimmit and then attack in the air. Mm -hmm. I think. I could counter that. Actually, I could counter that unless he pays five, and he doesn't have five. You want to just do that? Yeah. Let them play another card. But... X is two. If for three mana or four mana. Four mana, maybe not. Although, yeah, in this format, yeah, four mana. <laughs> a lot of things die at four mana to douse and gloom. Right. And most things at three mana die. Yeah, right. we just, we've had Kamigawa Spirits for years now. It's never going to stop. <laughs> Sweet, nothing. Yes! Oh, that More rules! Counters. More counter spells! <laughs> anyway, let's attack for seven. And then Church of Deals could kill him. <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's see chumps happen. Yep. Okay. Looking like jump blocks. Man, I bet our opponent feels mad that they... Convoke. Oh, convoke. Scattering the seeds. Uh, More chumps. We, yeah, I we mean, can't do anything. We can't do anything about that. No, did Cass find out about the... Oh, I'm, Lodestone I'm Golem? Yeah. And no one told me? No... <laughs> uh, oh, no. We were going to, Cass. Yeah, we, we, we mentioned it, and I guess he wasn't here. And uh, I guess we should have... Uh... Whatever. I there mean, Soul Sworn Jury can't do anything about yeah, that. Yeah, is. I'm I'm bringing Twisted Justice the hell out against this player though, because it's really bad. Yeah, here. this is the bad. This is the wrong matchup. But Soul Sworn Jury will do good on uh, the island. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's hard. Okay. It is hard because. We have all these Karus, and uh, <laughs> if you're playing three color. Hell, I probably should have played Seal of Doom, but I want to be able to Orzova at the end of turn because at this point it matters, and I can just use Seal of Doom as a. It's a sorcery, sorcery speed. speed. Yeah, he's he's at six. We have a clock. We were at like seven at one point. Yeah. <laughs> Cast your Seal someday. Not today. Not today. Because I want to leave up Orzova plus uh, Soul Sworn Jury Mana, which is exactly what I have right now. <laughs> also, the steal of a deal. The most appropriate time to say that, that I like to say. Mm, welcome to Big Bell Hells. <laughs> Pillory. Oh man, I'm targeting myself with Twisted Justice. You don't even know. <laughs> yes. Get the fuck out. <laughs> okay. I will show you deals. Deals you couldn't even believe. He even picks the high power flyer. I mean, here's a big ass spell. Come on, Seal of Doom. Wait, is this the A drop? I'll counter it if it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he got his life back. Okay. Okay. Ah, Signet! Yes, Signet Math. Tap your signets first, kids. 
Uh, um, I think we worm. counter that because the seal of doom does not kill it. Or do we care? I'm thinking. I have a bad plan. What's your bad plan? Uh, killing Pillory by killing Absolver Thrall uh, with Seal of Doom and then Dowser Glooming something to... So yeah, I can do that. Sure. You'll get to see my dumb plan. I'm going to do it, though. I, I like my dumb plan. It's going to be great. Anyway, he does that pre-combat so that he can attack. I don't know how much he attacks for. Three, maybe. Two. If he attacks for three, I get to kill him in a different way, but I'm going to do a really dumb uh, way to kill him. Yeah. Okay, your way to kill him is to seal of... to Staus and Gloom, your blind hunter. Uh, nope. That's, that could be two, but I'm not going to do it Yeah, we way. kill our... Well, here's my plan. Okay, we kill okay. our blind hunter. Okay. We haunt... Haunt is permanent, right? Uh-huh. Well, no, haunt... Is, haunt is creature. Creature. Yeah. Okay. So, we do that, then we haunt our uh, Snapping Drake. And kill our Snapping Drake with, like, Seal nope. of G like, Fist to Justice or something. So here's my game plan. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play Seal of Doom. And kill off my Absolver Throw. Also, it does attack with Snapping Drake, which is just lethal, but. And then the Haunt triggers, so we destroy target enchantment. Uh -huh. We destroy Pillory. Then and attack then for five. Attack for five in the air. See, my plan was. To attack with Blind Hunter, then kill our Blind Hunter, and then kill the Snapping Drake. Which would have been exact I was say, whereas this is one overkill. Yeah, you gotta go for the overkill, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's get this shitty six mana sorcery out of my deck. Although my plan was better, because it would have shown him Twisted Justice, which we are now boarding out. Um, do we want to board in Ghosts of the Innocent? I kind of want to. Um, do we want to board out, like, Enemy of the Guild Pact for that? That seems kind of bad in this match, sure. And is an expensive card. Okay, this is dumb. I like it. Oh my god, wait. Do we want to bring in Layla? We have very few repeats, I wanna... right? We have almost no repeats. Seal of Doom's the only one. I want to be the Doom Hellfucker here. Like, let's. <laughs> yeah, let's play. Let's. Okay, will we board out for Lay... uh, the Thrill? No, no, no. Thrill's still okay. Like, it, it blocks. It's a body. Yeah, it's a body. <laughs> it's um. A... Withstand. Silkwing Scout. Sure, let's take out Withstand. Do I mess with Mana any, or do we just want to ride to hell? Nah, screw it. We added one card of each color, it can't be that bad. Yeah, that's true. Board out one of the seals, obviously. <laughs> he has enough important creatures to murder that the seal is good. Okay, I do have blue. Got it, coach. Dusk Imp in the Snapping Drake. Hell yes. <laughs> no ley line in the opener. That would have been too sweet. I'm just going to get to fly flyers, okay? Moldify, 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 moldify. I'm calling for your game of magic to be bad. <laughs> no, he okay. was al he was already in the middle of doing the top of deck thing. You could tell because he was at 33 there. Oh boy, no. he's he's starting fast. Pick, you're gonna pick green again, different player. <laughs> White or or black, I blue. suppose. Yeah, but he's gonna pick blue. Watch him. White. White. Okay. Hi. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just slam down, like, or what land we play here doesn't matter. Swamp matters. Uh, why does Swamp matter? Because I could draw Plague Rasulka and not have to discard next turn. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> we discard... Probably discard Swamp. Maybe. My four seems pretty... Oh! 
I guess we get to decide now. No. We're discarding planes. Yeah, do I want to discard planes? Where do we want to dis? What would we discard if it wasn't planes? S the scout, but that's like our next play. Yeah, I guess it is planes. You're right. So, oh, so literally, he he got nothing out of this. Like, you know. Yeah, because we were going to have to discard land anyways. I don't see us needing double white in any time in the near future unless <laughs> our seven drop comes into play. Well, the problem is it's going to be forever for us to get white mana. Yeah, I guess we are carrying for... Forever? Yeah. I guess we could, like, style have played the Basilica there, but... No, 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 it's got to be the Silk Wing Scout. Or, yeah, it's got to be. Or else we can't play Silk Wing Scout. Watch us just draw planes, it's fine. We're playing those, right? Yeah, there's there's some of them. Oh, Signet. Hey, Perplex. You could be useful. Anyway, let's get a flyer down. Actually, no, at this point, we're probably transmuting for Plumes of Peace or something, or Seal of Doom. Yeah, is very he's, likely. Is he's, the... he's playing Ramp on a Mold of Six. Well, he's, he's, he's missed a land drop. How goes Ravnica? Pretty good. Um, we're... I'm willing to trade. I'm also willing to trade. We're up on cards, making one-for-one -one trades is what I want. Okay, so he's got five lands, so Fates Fetters should be nice on the Rotworm he plays soon. Oh, okay. Flying Hunter. Uh, that's okay. That's good. That's why he wanted to trade, but... Oh, sweet. That's, creatures, a, that's actually, a play. It's a, it's a good play, too. Turn uh, swamp. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually have a play on my turn. Nice. Very happy about and the that. Next turn, we we play the ogre. Next turn, or we do if we play the thrall just to kill one of his lands. I would say I probably play like the thrall unless he has something like really good in play, but mm. I doubt anything's resolving. Is the trick here? Yeah. Yeah. We we boarded in late line of singularity against tokens. Yeah. Uh, he's playing something. Seal him. Behold. Try again. <laughs> I found my play. <laughs> a lot of our creatures are resistant to uh, Seal of Doom. I guess it's killing Snapping Drake, probably. Or do I want to just play Absolver Thrill? And cut his mana off. Make it a little more awkward for him. That puts him down to four... Let's like, him gives him a target for the Seal of Doom. It's, uh, yeah, it seems like a fine play. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking the, the Blind Hunter's fine. Like, the Blind Hunter is funky because this Blind Hunter play means that neither of us get to haunt our uh, our Blind Hunters. Actually, if he plays a creature before they trade, they would haunt onto the same guy. <laughs> Which I'd be okay with. I guess with. the other question is, do we want to trade? We, uh, are... yes. I'm fine with one-for-one one trading with my opponent that's down too far on cards. Like, especially holding removal. My opponent's probably playing Seal of Doom, but it won't kill yeah, my probably pretty cool. Yeah. Like, and if he plays anything else, I'm okay. Like, I'm basically okay with anything. Uh... No black yet. Oh, it's more oh. giant. Oh. I guess we aren't blocking. Yeah, I guess we're not blocking. And I guess I want something other than Fates Fetters. Otherwise, we're like Fates Fettering the. Do we want to play an ogre or hold up Convolute? We can also transmute Perplex for Seal of Doom and then cast it. No. Well, we're one short. Yeah, shit. Oh, we could play Cortisar just to. Try to look for something. Mm. Well, Oldsworn Giant's really good with the token generation. Like, that's mm -hmm. quite an obvious pick there. Um, God, I want to play Cortisar, but it won't work because I have to play it off of the Basilica. I could just Fates Fetters like the Blind Hunter. I'm going to tag for two. And then, like, deal with the Orsworn Giant later with per with that. Let yeah. Me go, let me go with that play. It's not a great play, but it's a play we have. It gains us four life. Yeah, let's just attack. 
We'll, like, we'll deal with the Earth Sworn Giant soon. Our opponent has one card in hand that's just a Seal of Doom. Mm -hmm. So. So, yeah, they drew land. So they're on Seal of Doom and an unknown. Yep. So I'm interested in what the unknown is. Seal of Doom, obviously. Mm -hmm. I could force the issue on the Seal of Doom if I wanted, but. Okay. Playing something. I think that's what Sky Hazar's job is going to be. Well, Absolver Thrall forces it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and transmute. So, go get me my Seal of Doom. Yeah, Perplex. Perplex has been a champion tonight. Yeah. This card that we only ever want, like, one of, has been proving its worth. And then this can easily just get out. I don't want that in the table anymore. So one card left. One card left. I guess the problem with... Uh, nephew is hollering. I, I know. He's, he's been hollering for the last, like, 30 minutes. Don't worry yeah, he, about it. I, I've been trying to, like, try to catch the, with the mute button, but I, I honestly don't care too much. I know. Yeah, I'm in. Want to just draw some cards? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just draw some cards. I can't attack, but... This is the only thing it's safe on. Wait, we can't attack? We can uh, butt pumps, right? Butt pumps, I'm not bothering to attack. Okay. <laughs> we can hold up our... It's nothing. Yeah. Transluminant, sure. Uh, I am in the east. It's just babies <laughs> don't go to sleep when you want them to. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, we get attack. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? I want to force that <sighs> seal of doom issue. Yeah, just uh, play absolver throw on. The Absolver Throw kind of sucks because if you can, like, deal with our Blind Hunter or whatever we haunt onto, then it... Kills his Utopia Sprawl. No, it's... It, yeah, we, we we get to kill his Utopia Sprawl on ETB, but if he can... He's going to Seal of Doom the <laughs> Thrall, and then he could kill, like... It's going to force us to kill our Ocular Halo. No, 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 I'm targeting the Seal of Doom. Oh. Oh, Okay. Like I'm going to force the issue on his seal of doom. Okay, you were you were you were doing more advanced plans than my tiny brain is capable of. Yeah, like I'm doing it this way, like forcing the issue, so he's going to kill the absolver thrall. Yeah, and then that's good. So then we exile it on the transluminant. So now we force the issue on the transluminant. Yeah, so that whenever he wants to sack his translucent, he does he it now his... to prevent me from killing his Utopia Sprawl. Nope, nope. The trans. Yeah, he probably he doesn't care about the Sprawl anymore. I'm thinking. Now watch him like draw a good. Oh, okay. Oh. So I'll destroy target enchantment. <laughs> he let me have the Utopia Sprawl for free because he thought there was only two targets in play, which also, oh. uh, which also, more importantly. I just used my, his seal of doom to seal of doom his creature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the powerful part. So, yeah, I and was we're gonna still say, floating mana for first wing. Yep, I was gonna say this entire play. Like I, I've thought through this entire line, and that was the outcome I wanted. That's a that's a very Joseph of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very happy with that outcome. Um, we're not. You attacking. should just concede. <laughs> Well, he's got, like, some bomb I don't know about. No, nope, he's just floating. He used his floater mana to yeah, so I'm not butt pump this guy. And then I'm also leaving back the Blind Hunter to block because a 1-1 one, one spirit is about to pay, uh, appear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although we also have the first wing. 
Yeah. Uh, go Greg Brown scale, which I don't care about, because I'm going to play Cortez R on the ground to block it. Or also, do you want to just play Snapping Drake? Uh, probably both. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Get more flying going. Let's draw a card. Oh, hey, I won't play that, too. Um... We have seven mana, so we can make a four and a three. Do you want to play the Cesar, or do you want to play... The jury. The jury, I think, is more powerful than the Hussar at this moment, but if we... Hmm, this is an interesting thought. Like, how do you I can, wanna... You can play Hussar, Soulsworn Jury, Vigilance, your Blind Hunter, attack for four, draw a card. That basically taps us out, but... I'm thinking maybe I don't want to play both of those. Like, maybe I just want the jury, then. Ah, uh, and hold stuff up. So let's go. We vigilance. can't. We're probably also going to have to uh, douse of gloom mid combat here yes. if we attack. Yeah. I've already planned for that. <laughs> Damn. Because he only has one white to be able to pump again. Because mm -hmm. he can't signet. Alright! Okay. You're getting crushed. I am I'm doing a lot of advanced techniques to crush my opponent. It's working very well. Now, do we want to get the jury down, or do we want to place Core Hussar? Because the Hussar... We can get its benefit immediately, whereas the Soul Sworn Jury doesn't do anything right now. I kind of want to get the jury down to, like, lock the game next turn. Like, I just... That seems fair. You know, I leave that up, and then it's, you know, we call it. What Yemi layer is this? Four. <laughs> yeah, okay. We have the game on lockdown, so... Uh, yeah. That was really... I'm really happy with the whole... With how the whole, uh, Absolver Thrall thing happened, because that was how I had it planned out. <laughs> And he, he, like, I thought that he was going to break it by sacking the Transluminant, and I wouldn't get the Utopia Sprawl for free. But because I got the Utopia Sprawl for free, he didn't have the triple white to be able to use his Beacon Hawk three times. That's very true. Which so it, it actually <laughs> mattered. Yes. Uh, this is round two. Yeah, we're moving into round three uh, after, after that. Muda and is... Matron proof. Ah, Muda. Right. Yeah. It's wrong Muda, though. Different Muda. There's been games where Jin stacked my entire deck, although that's because we knew what the bottom card of my deck was. It was uh, Underworld Cerberus. <laughs> that was a pretty powerful game. That's the only thing I remember about that play, is that Underworld Cerberus was the last card of my... I don't even remember what that card does anymore. I just remember that that's what the play was. I have to, I have to look at a thing so that I... I want to look at the vintage list. All right, I should look at banning since I don't know all of them. I care enough. Bans and restricted announcement. I have Ugin. Okay, so only four cards. I'd already known all of them. Oh, we're already done moving on to the finals. Oh, oh good. Yeah. yeah. I guess Ayabu can make sense not to ban, because it doesn't actually give you crystal mana. It just, yes, you have to find your crystal mana somewhere somewhere else, well, which is why Eldrazi Temple was so good. Well, also, Ayabu can would be like three spells in one turn, and it was more busted in that manner. Mm-hmm. But, I'll, yeah, they, they, I guess basically they didn't, they're kind of, they kind of want Tron to be the deck right now. Um, 
Nectarian, any blue deck that wants the game to go longer than turn five is absolutely fine playing Ancestral Vision. Like, you don't have to break it for the card to be good at one blue draw three. You just have to be able to survive four turns casting it on turn one when you have almost nothing else to do. Yeah, that's it's fine. Like, the card's powerful. There's control decks. Uh, I've, 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 I've seen some discussion about blue-white Thopter Foundry that would be including yeah. it. And that would probably be playing it. Any control deck that plays uh, Colonnade will play it. Like, any of those types of yeah. decks, which do exist. It's a strong card, without uh, even without, like, you know, some sort of shenanigans going on with it. Watch, like, some crazy uh, affinity deck, like, play it over Thoughtcast. <laughs> like, this turn one, go Ancestral Visions. <laughs> Um, this is a two-lander with remand and a two cantrips. Are you willing to keep a two-lander with two cantrips? I, I, I yeah, remand specifically is good enough for me to want to keep this. I don't feel comfortable with this, but um, I'll accept it. Because I try to get these stupid cards back in the box. <laughs> uh, I just remand your three, or four, if you played a signet. Yeah, you remand what they signet into, not the signet itself. Although both are funny. Yeah. I'm willing to... <laughs> remand their signet and watch them go signet no land pass. <laughs> and you're basically playing a stone rain. <laughs> hey, bounce land. No signet. Mm, K-Room. They're basically the same thing. Do you want to get that now, or we'd have to discard? That kind of sucks. Yeah. Probably discard the Thrall. Or like Plague Rasulka. Yeah, I'd probably, probably Plague the Rasulka. I'm willing to do that. We have enough cantrips that the discard won't matter. So, the question is, what's their three? They have a forest and then something, or maybe better than forest. Mountain. Oh, boy. Mountain. Oh, boy. Plaxcaster? Nope. Oh, dear. The greed. Pass. Uh, you want to remat or just play Quartasar? Hmm. <laughs> I'm good playing Court Hussar here. Let's get something going. Also, like, you know, other cards. Yeah. Plus it's a, uh... Plumes? Plumes! Hooray! Uh, goodbye, Ozova. We'll see you later. We, and by that, we mean never. We'll see you later. Did, wait, did you put Ozova on the bottom of the deck? Because you wanted second to bottom, so that on the second to last turn of the game... I put it in the correct order. Okay, good. We want to activate it twice before we lose, not just the once. Mm -hmm. Look at that prismatic mana. Well, almost. No black. Yeah. Street Breaker! Eh, a, a creature for plumes apiece. Hooray. Do I just Whereas that? we probably just play Snapping Drake here. Yeah. So I want him to keep playing no creature so that we can Twisted Justice that Street Breaker Worm. That would be too good, okay? That would be the most <laughs> ludicrous thing for me to actually get that, you know? I mean, if we Plumes a piece it, he probably will sack it. I could double block. I don't think so, though. I'm just going to... Yeah, walk into his walk wild in, size. Yeah, I say walk, that's why. Like, <laughs> pass. I don't feel like losing the wild size. Thank you very much. Right, we have transmute. Yeah. So yeah, we do okay, I forgot about our single shuffle effect. We have two, though we're not. All oh, right, the other six the other drop one. that we can't. We could, we could, we could cast. We could transmute that. Oh okay, dear. Yeah, I guess we are going to draw six cards. <laughs> yeah, but off of the one that's. Uh... Yeah, plumed. Yeah, off the wrong one. Anyway, plumes a piece. We can hold up remand. 
I guess Reman lets us do the double block. Or do you want to attack? I'm going to try the double block. We might get owned on it, but... I need I oh. need that worm gone. You could probably cast Wild Size twice, I know, right? I'm aware. I'm still gonna try it. Yeah, every man on Wild Size won't work. I'm aware My of that. I forgot about it though. You no, know, I'm I'm making this block knowing that. Basically I'm 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 trying to call the bluff, okay? Board lay line. If our opponent, yeah, if our opponent has like seven Street Breaker Worm and that's all they've been doing, then yeah, we might board it in. My hope would be like Fiery Conclusion sack the tap Street Breaker Worm to try to win this combat. That would be that my, would be the best. That would be my hope, or something like that. Really, I'll take the trade though because like the Cortisar is a free card. Mm -hmm. Even something like just drawing Seal of Doom Ooh, off the Ooh, a white trick too would be nice. You can't double that one. Yep. Helix. You can't double this one. <laughs> Try <Hey>. again. <laughs> okay, one for one seems fine. Yeah. I can't play Absolver Thrill either now because of Plumes of Peace. <laughs> That's fine. Like, But I can Thousand Gloom for six cards, I suppose, if he doesn't play anything. Alright, just Twisted Justice to draw six. Isn't that good? Like, <laughs> okay, I killed my opponent's big creature. I'm fine with that. So yeah, Helix is one of the five cards in hand. What's your others? What you got for me? A three. A creature that dies to Douse and Gloom. Got okay. it. Cool. I guess he is holding up Gather Courage, but who cares? Let's just play Blind Hunter. <laughs> I kind of want to wait one turn on Blind Hunter, but. That's that's okay then. We can like douse and gloom this guy, or you could draw either six or three cards. <laughs> How many cards? Also, cycle withstand. <laughs> give me the cards. Will you give me <clears throat> six cards? Is the question. Give me the cards. Are you going to allow us to draw six cards? <laughs> this is like blocking an Ulabox Crusher with a with a Swans. <laughs> <laughs> I might discard Absolver Thrill. <laughs> Although I guess if he discards the other, if he kills his alley creeper, we don't have to discard. Hell yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, look at all that removal! Uh... So discard the... Let's go with the enemy of the guild pact. Like, the phalanx, the thrall, and the... Yeah, those seem fine. Or do we want to, like, discard an island? No, I kind of want island so I can make a seven turn. Uh, okay, that's fine then. Maybe the aqueduct in that sense. Yeah, Kru out. Kru is not doing anything anymore. Yeah, let's go with that. The enemy of the guild pact and the netherborn phalanx. I'll keep absolver keep... thrall around in case he has his own things. Anyway, <laughs> you let us draw six cards. So we're taking win. three. We're taking three damage, but we have so much life gain in our hand. I know, and withstand too if I need to. I was basically counting with stand as life gain. But... Yeah, I would like my opponent to just play one big guy. That'd be the hope here. It's just one big dude. So I can seal a doom plus douse and gloom. Does not look to be the case. It's a 3-3. Three, three. That's okay to douse the two uh, seal of doom. I hope I know what I'm targeting. So, Dowsing Gloom. Plus Seal of Doom. That Growth Chamber's weird. I wonder what that Growth Chamber is doing. 
Yeah, we haven't seen blue, have we? I guess, like, the same as that Bor that Signet's doing, you know? Yeah, Boros Signet is letting him cast Helix. Um, so, two cards in hand that aren't Helix. All right. Okay, a target for Seal of Doom. <laughs> yep. So, Blind Hunter. Plus Seal of Doom. Okay. And now he, he attacks, and will he Helix or Guy or not? We'll find out. Likely not. I mean, if we can hold with stand up to counter his I, Helix, I want him. Pretty okay. I want him to Helix uh, on my turn here, so I can uh, overrule it. We could try to bait it with the Halo. Uh, then I have to use with stand on it. Uh -huh. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I also that would prevent me from playing Absolver Thrill. We just want a warm body. Maybe. I'm gonna pass. Let's see what he's got. I want him to cast anything that I can overrule. I want to be able to overrule for six, because that gains me six life. That would be nice. Damn, he knows. <laughs> I just want to fetter this guy. Okay. Yeah, alright. Screw off. <laughs> He's going to Helix his guy in response. Do we withstand yeah, his yeah, guy? Yeah, we do. <laughs> he Helixes his guy? Yeah, we do. <laughs> that would be amazing. He's not going to let himself get two for one. <laughs> Alright, so Absolver throws off again now, so... Yeah. That's fine. I have still withstand and overrule up. I'm completely fine having him just Helix my guy, so... Oh, but... I assume if we if prevent him from killing our guy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm, I want him. <laughs> okay, because I, I want him I, to I'm kind of not okay with our last creature dying. Okay, hands off reach, and I can't stop that because I don't have enough to overrule it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can catch that in combat if we want to. I'm gonna try and bait out the. Yeah, we could just all we could just play Ocular Halo and start drawing some cards. This should bait the Helix out. Signet math. Or if he goes for something bigger than Helix, I can overrule it. What are you doing? What the hell is this? Cleansing beam. Cleansing beam. I. Um. Can we? We can't overrule and leave a Helix. That's a bit. No, I'm thinking I withstand that. To try to draw a land for. Well, I already played a land this turn. Oh. I just mean that the overrule is a. Well, I could overrule it for three and go to thirteen. But then withstand and no, I wanna I wanna withstand this. Okay. I wish I had like creature uh changing the color of my creature though. That would uh a quick change. Yeah, a quick change. Okay. That's good. I want that card in play. That'd be nice, yeah. 
All right. And then I just pass with this bat up. Yeah. Surprised he tried cleansing beam instead of just helix. The helix he wants to go to my face. Likely. Yeah, want he wants that to be the end of the game. So Although he's yeah, he's, he's, gonna kill he's finally going to have to spend it though. Anyway, let's draw a card in response. Nice. Hey, a land. Well, it's a, like any land is good with overrule though. Yeah, true enough. All right, so then we can haunt on to his spider. Yeah. Which is nice. Cause... We've already spent our edicts, so... Well, it means if that spider dies, like, in combat or something, like, we get to get out. Mm -hmm. and... Means he can't attack with our... We play... Abs... We can't play Absolver Throw. Yeah. Uh, we... can't play Absolver Throw. Don't play Absolver Throw. Absol... Don't play it. Not a May. I didn't print Mays back in the day. Okay, so he gets his 3-3 three, three that forces blocks or prevents blocks, and he probably makes it a 4-4? Four, four? No. No. He doesn't want a spider to die. Okay. I'm not going to play the first wing. Because he could force the... Yeah, he could force it to yeah, block he, it. He, with could, the... he can force the block, and it's just not worth it. And he could force the not block, too. So he could just eat our guy. Yeah, he actually is, is in a pretty commanding position right now. Yeah, I don't know how many more removal spells we can draw. <laughs> I think our opponent might have this. I need to leave overrule up. I need him to do something that I can overrule. At least he can't make... Like the burning tree guy can only the blood scale can only keep it from blocking or force him to block him. He can't just make our jury not able to block the spider. Yeah, I wanted the card there, bulldozer. Two points is not worth it when my opponent's on seventeen. Mm -hmm. I realize I could change how I tapped for it, but like there are ch there are cards I could draw that would be relevant. Uh, all right, so I can't block. I'm going to three. Oh no! Now, well, we, we the uh, we can oh. still block this. Oh yeah, it's can't block the burning tree. Okay. Yeah, that, great, I was great. just saying that. <laughs> okay, I I was. That think... card's okay. It's not bonkers. <laughs> I was thinking about like six other things at the same time, so that didn't. Or lands, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's just going to try to walk on by. So I need a kill spell for that. Do we have any left? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. We spent we spent both seals, haven't we? Yeah. Plumes of Peace is and in the yard. He doesn't... He, I need him to cast a spell. Yeah, we need him to cast a spell. I guess we could also use another creature. Yeah, another... Well, no, another creature ain't enough anymore. He's got three activations. Oh. We could draw our tapper. That's not enough. I'm dead. <laughs> like... <laughs> Right, yeah. Uh, we needed to have drawn it last turn. Yeah. Um, I do have a play involving countering my own Absolver Thrall, if need be. Yeah, to, yeah, to live. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you! You are too kind. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Thanks for going for the kill there. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> you, 
you gave us turns, buddy. <laughs> so we're gonna be drawing more land though, because at this point we have a lot of spells in our yard. It's likely we're gonna be drawing a lot of non-spells. Hey, that's good. <laughs> we might live. Uh, do we attack? Yeah, I attack with the first wing. Still can't play that thrall until something else is on board, but uh, uh we kind of wishing we had kept that enemy of the guild pact but we didn't know about blood scale shaman the dose yeah that guy seems good in this matchup though yes a lot of multicolor stuff out of our opponent a lot anyway tapper is what I need so we did transmute right uh, so, no, we have not. Okay, so is Orzova the second to last card of our deck? Cur currently, yes. <laughs> All right, okay. so he's, he's, he's getting in the damage. He's getting in his can. three points while he can. Uh, how many cards? Okay, so we have three, five, eight, uh, ten lands in play. Eleven, two lands on the bottom of our deck, so seven cards. Uh, four lands. And one of those cards is uh, Perplex. Oh, jeez. Can we win before we deck? Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because... Uh... Yes, we can. Okay, okay. all right. So long as he remember to tap his dude, we can. At some point, he should trade with that first wing. Right, but there's a drain life or two on it is the reason he hasn't, because he's still going for He hasn't, it. but the longer he puts that off, the more damage he takes in the long run. Well, no, he wants to kill me, though. Drain life for two. That's yeah. the problem. He doesn't want me to actually gain that two life. Ah, true enough. We'll be okay, so long as we don't forget to tap his guy. Something I would totally do. <laughs> but uh perplex and what else do we have in deck still another white card I think I don't know planes of course what's attacking yeah four in the air His last card is he not Helix. He spent Helix a turn to go. Unless he's got a second Helix. <laughs> yeah. Want that church. <laughs> now would you tutor with Perplex just to try to draw it sooner or not to keep from decking? I would tutor with to just draw draw another relevant card. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what three drops we have left. We we probably have one more than, than Perplex, and with four in the air, we are going to win before. What is this? Decking. The hell is this? Not Streetbreaker Worm. <laughs> <laughs> Aora. Okay. Well, he even he has the triple green up to sack it. But if he activates the burning tree to hit me, okay, I might be able to to uh, trick him. Trick him. <laughs> okay, we just okay, we act like we we pass the combat. No, well, I I tap the spider. Yeah, we tap we tap the spider, and then he. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, so we're tricking our opponent. So I want him to attack with the burning tree, and then use the. Yeah, he's doing it right now. Wait, here's something. Why hasn't our opponent been giving Burning Tree blood scale reach? Because it's tapped in camp lock. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so camp lock. 
And now we can't activate the, the Worm Weaver coil. So we take three. Go so to three. Go to three. <laughs> he, if he has another Might of the Nephilim, we could... Whatever. If I die to that, I, I die to that. We don't die to that. And our opponent turns on our, our card in hand. Thank God. <laughs> so, I'm going to transmute that. I don't know if there's actually any targets left, but I'm still doing it. Just to take a look at our deck. Oh, Convolute. And five lands. Okay. This might put Orzova on top, which is what we want. Yeah. Um... We can we can wait. Uh... Hmm. This works. We just have to tap the basilica to tap to, thro to tap to throw. Oh, okay. Good point. Well, I was gonna play the land. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was still thinking we were sandbagging. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not sandbagging anymore. So we kill the Wormweaver Coil. <laughs> this is this is pretty bomb out. An attack for we we can attack for six, but that's dumb. We'd lose. Yeah, we attack for four, and then next turn we might do the full court press if yeah. we can win that way. I would say I'd do the full court press if we can win that way. Because what if our opponent just goes, uh, thirst for knowledge, you. <laughs> or not thirst for knowledge, but that other spell. What is it? Uh, compulsive research. Yeah, compulsive research, you. <laughs> like, he has, what if that's what he was splashing blue for? <laughs> <sighs> Magic the puzzling. I played the land for a specific reason there, Bulldozer, because I actually needed six mana on the turn. Convolute plus yeah, Soulsworn <laughs> Jury plus Ulstriari thr Thrall, and I didn't like the bluff wasn't worth that. That's the reason I played it that way. That was <laughs> holy shit, we made it. That was advanced magic. Yeah. Uh, what the hell do we sideboard? Um, like Leyline is a joke. Uh, yeah, that's a joke. Our opponent doesn't play islands. They're not heavy tokens. Quick, Quick change that's fixes. A joke. That's a joke. It's a joke against one of his spells. Well, it's a joke against two. Like, it works against Might of the Nephilim as well, but that's barely a thing. Yeah. Uh, better question. What's bad here? Uh, Perplex still ruled. Uh, the Phalanx. Fine. Phalanx is okay. Phalanx has a body that's okay. It blocks his 3-3 three, three tramplers. Uh, is Ghost of the Innocent something I freaking want? How do I Our win? opponent is lower on clock than us, so we just want to time him out. <laughs> the ghost of the innocent. This is game two, round three. Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, game two, round three. Yeah, Poison Belly round is three, not so good because of... Uh, Our opponent's not tokens, they're just good creatures. They're not tokens, and plus, Poison Belly harms us, which is our what our opponent wants. Our opponent is very into damage and tricks. Yeah. I can't believe a draw six. <laughs> they let us draw six. We drew six cards. That was pretty we, good. We, want, we eventually won the game because yeah. of that. We got six cards. So, Enemy of the Guild Pact, absolutely amazing. Yeah, Enemy of the Guild Pact is Need it. very strong. Yeah, like in this match, it only dies to Cleansing Beam, so... It, it dies to a cleansing beam, but not if we have withstand up. So, <laughs> or counter spells, which we have. Deck, we I, have love, of I love how many spells. counter spells we have. Yeah, you know? feeling good about that. Like we have perplex, we have remand, we have convolute, convolute. we have overrule. the jury overrule. <laughs> five, five counters, and not bad. It's good removal. Limited, good limited deck. Uh, all colors plus removal plus blind hunter. Seems good to me. I wish that Orzova was a Kru, but I'm okay having it. I was gonna say I'm fine with. The, I want the Orzova in this matchup if we play long game like we did. Yeah, if we go long game, if we actually play our guilt ghosts, man, imagine if that 
stupid creature was Souls of the Faultless. <laughs> this is that would be completely different. We will be we'd be main decking it for one. Man, Souls of the Faultless would just he would crush this man. He would be on. We we would not know what to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, we lead with swamp. Yeah, we always lead with swamp because we could always draw the play Drasilka to make it so we don't discard on the. Yeah, Drasilka so we don't turn. have to discard. Yeah, and yeah. we don't have to plumes of peace for any reason. Only well, we could on three. I'm not gonna plumes of peace though here. Like, I meant like as the the the. the Forecast. We never cast that forecast. All right, I'm discarding the swamp. Or planes. I'm gonna discard swamp or planes. Yeah, let's get rid of planes. It does reveal another card, but whatever. Well, I'd rather I'd rather get rid of the planes though. Mm -hmm. Plus, we can block bear with horn turtle next turn. Yeah, though he might get off like a a blood, uh, you know, a blood thirst. Blood, get, get the blood. He didn't play. See if he if he plays red, then he can play a three three. But that also oh. missed a land drop. Okay. Suddenly changing my opinions about perhaps one day plumes of piecing that <laughs> that spider. Although the spider can eventually. I don't like plume, I don't like plumesing the spider because it can graft. Yeah, it can eventually donate his power and toughness. Yeah. Our opponent kept a two lander. Oh boy. <laughs> Now, do they make a single large spider or two, <laughs> two, two spiders? <laughs> okay. That's scary for, like, the creatures they play for after that. Yeah, where well, they could make, like, a 6-6 six, six blood scale shaman or whatever. Well, our play... choice of flyers. Yeah, playing blind hunter, I suppose. Yeah, so that we can play snapping drake and then haunt onto it. Our opponent has, like, creatures that answer creatures, so it's kind of... Well, it's because real-life magic constantly asks you to graft onto your opponent's creatures and just <laughs> you ignore those triggers. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it that Hold way because I I am I just don't want him to be able to. Uh... Like bloodlust. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay, and we get to hold up. Yeah, we get to hold up our activation. So we, we just play Snapping Drake instead. Okay. Yeah. And screw, yeah, screw that. I'm playing. I'm playing Snapping Drake now. So we can attack next turn. Yeah. I don't fear a three drop. Yeah. Seems good to me. I don't think there's a three drop that matters enough. What is he doing? Does he have some kind of trick he just didn't want to spend last turn, or what? Yeah, like Might of the Nephilim? Yeah, I guess that works. That does kill Soul Sworn Jury. If he attacks, I'm not blocking. I guess if we do think he's on tricks, we can just plumes this guy. I don't want to plumes that still. I I I I know, but he's like, on two lands. I I'm I have a doubt in gloom. I'm not gonna. I'm I'm just gonna like dance around the trick. Ah, okay. <laughs> Our opponent just left to BM. Nope. Okay. All right. So yep, taking the damage. Even if he has, like, Bloodthirst, I don't care. Which I don't think he does. I think he was going for a, a trick on that. Like, I don't think there's any, uh... Unless he makes the 3-3 three, three right now. Yeah. Which, if he does, then that's where he gets Blooms appeased. Right. 
I was uh, surprised that he actually had that. That's good, though, for him. So he's playing the 4-2? Or the 3-1 that gets both? It's the 3-1, uh, yeah. I don't wow. know. Mana. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to get out of a hole, and he's probably going to graft onto it. Oh, no. Never Do we have mind. enough mana to forecast then? We don't have double blue. Okay. We'd have to draw the blue. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not that spicy. No. Because that would like prevent me from doing anything. Uh not playing the Basilica yet. That would uh Stone Rain our opponent. <laughs> If we could have done it, well, right. Since I would. It wasn't. I wouldn't. It wasn't sure thing. So, and it would have ruined me had I failed. Like all of a sudden, my yeah, soul sword. Like, we had island in hand. I mean, I was gonna say there's absolutely no reason I would try that right now because the the payoff is I need to draw one of three untapped blue sources for it. Like no way. Yeah. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Instead, let's just uh, hold up. How about spells. we make, let's just make good plays instead? How's that sound? <laughs> I love making bad plays, though. That's nice. Don't I, you? I'm, I'm going to make good plays instead. <laughs> You're no fun. You don't want to lose the game to stupid plays. Why would, I, why, would I make, why would I make a play that literally just loses me the game? See, the trick is I didn't want to make that play either. <laughs> I would have just made the play if we had an island, but we didn't. Right. <laughs> but now I'm just yeah, being a shit learner because our opponent... Is digging out of a hole. They have to I was going to say, they're going to crush us because they have six active cards and Feral Animist. Oh, boy. Yeah, we don't care about Feral Animist. The thing about him is he is always an X1. Yeah, I can douse him. Mm -hmm. Plus it also... Uh, also, he no tapped all his green? Oh, so he can just attack. Okay. I guess he has Helix. Oh, he grafted on the Feral Animist. Uh, that still dies to uh, Dowsing Gloom. I guess I'm end up Dowsing Glooming. Seal of Fire. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a good card. I mean, that, that kills my Snapping Drake. That does kill our Snapping Drake. Good Goodbye, Snapping Drake. Oh, Feral Animus is fun with a ton of things. You should go look at some Triple Dragon's Maze drafts if you want to see how cool Dragon uh, Feral Animus is. Yeah. Are you familiar with the spell Fido Burst? <laughs> <laughs> um... Play fake magic. Do you want to just shock this guy now or wait till later? I'm actually thinking I'm going to do it this way. So if he wants to kill my snapping drake go for it right now yep mm and then I'm, I'm then i'm just gonna like main phase bullet on the feral animist because i do want that gone Ooh, all right and then here we get to play the basilica yeah A seal of Doomblade is a card that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, it's close. Seal of Doom is as close as you're getting, probably. It sucks because I want to. Uh... Oh, wrong, I do wrong, wrong turn. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to draw lands and spells in combination, rather than just uh, one or the other. All right. I don't actually want to plumes a piece. The Star Fletcher, if possible. Spark Mage. He's got uh, a Helix to follow this up with. Well, All right. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, <laughs> I can't stop you. It looks like he's just shocking us. Oh, all right. So he. He's just he just wants to ping us. I am accept okay, that's, that. That's a that's a pretty terrible use of Spark Mage Apprentice, I have to say. Yeah, he just wants it in play. Like, what is he? He wants. Oh, never oh. mind. I found the reason. Okay. I found what? it. Yeah, okay. I found the reason. If he grafts onto it, I'll do it. If he doesn't graft onto it, I won't care. Nah. 
I was asking if you ever maybe wanted to. Oh hell no, I have a blocker. That, but not when not when he's got a uh, street breaker worm. Yeah, he's got better targets. You have a thing that blocks that. I'm thinking about plumes of peace, but I'm probably not gonna do it. There's six seals. There was a cycle in one set, and then in planar chaos, there was a anti seal like that was like a a color shifted seal. That's that's why yeah. there's six. Seal of Primordium is the seal of dis uh, seal of naturalized. Oh, more lands. Yeah, okay. well, let's just keep drawing those. It's fine. We have the church for a reason, right? That's what we do. I guess we pass. Yeah. We're ahead on clock somehow. Well, it's because our opponent was in the tank on, like, his spiders. Yeah. He's drawing out of it because his hand is four real cards, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. So this gets his bloodthirst. No tricks. No, he's going he's for a, his... he's going for that three three. Yeah, the burning blood scale. Is that worth plumes of piecing? Yes. Yeah. Though it would tap me out of blue. You could just cast plumes of peace and like let him attack once. Yeah, that's probably fair, too. Or we can see what we draw. Don't want to counter it. Again, if I want him to put that counter from Aqua Strand Spider on something. Yeah, sure, let's... Uh, cancel. I want to do that this way. You get it once. Yeah, that card's a little too dangerous for me to let him have repeatedly, as we saw in the last game. wonder if he blows it or if he just holds it back as, like, a blocker. Wow. <laughs> Fine, then, asshole! <laughs> I guess we're taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he got what he wanted. I just realized that we cited in our 7 drop for... Or that, in for that's 2-5. That would really nug our opponent right now. <laughs> Holy crap. But here's a land. No, I didn't draw. I know, but I'm predicting. Oh. <sighs> okay. Dust Gimp. Okay. Graft the shoe puff? Alright. Cool. Nope, another land. This is game two. Yep. We blocked the uh, spider. Take... Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He plays something big. Street Breaker Worm. Worm. Okay. So we need to draw cool stuff very soon. Yeah. Or we go on to game three and just try to time our opponent out. <laughs> Fake magic. We've been doing this on like five spells, so this is pretty good. Yeah. And drain life for one, because it totally matters. Oh, making him respond to the trigger. <laughs> and we die. Okay. So, let's move on to three. Uh, four minutes on our opponent, and we want to... Anything... I, again, anything worthwhile on our board? I don't see anything that really matters to me. Um... What does Aetherplasm do again? It's a 1 1. <laughs> it's a, it's okay, like, reverse ninja. It's incredibly okay. garbage. Uh, okay, now to get someone playing Spark Mage Apprentice. Um, I'm let's just, just draw spells. Yeah, I was going to say, if we, if we. Let's play the game again. Keep. 
Yeah, this looks okay. We're on the play so we don't discard. Yep, now I get to play Convolute on three. And have plumes apiece, I suppose, which is nice. Not bad. Interesting. White. Well, we knew that. I know, but leading with white. It means he's probably got a Karu. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. I get to give up Dowsing Gloom and Convolute. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, if we can actually cast our ghosts. Oh, There's I'm... that growth chamber again. I'm fine, because that's him discarding a card, too. If we can actually resolve the ghost, then this match is over. We just have <laughs> six every turn. Pay costs. Buddy, you're not getting... You're not paying costs on anything. We killed a bear. Wow. Cool. And we get to hold up removal and counterspell. <laughs> I'll take both. Okay, so planes and some. No. Does not die to Dowsing and Gloom, so it gets the counterspell. And I'm playing Austerity Thrill. <laughs> Yay, Tapper. Also, I guess I have a creature that can attack. Yeah. I guess it's also a creature for Ocular Halo, which is a bit funky. Yeah, I don't like that as much. I like, I just like Tapper. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have Helix, but... Okay. Destroy target creature with Defender. You got me. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And we get to leave up our tap. I guess this Drake is an okay creature for the Ocular Halo. Yeah. If you can draw. I would like to draw another Planes if we do that. So what's the play? Feral Animist. So okay. a Dowsing Gloom target if something goes mm -hmm. bad. Play the Thrall? Yeah, if we don't play the Thrall now, it's going to be awkward. Our opponent isn't on auras. Yeah. We are. <laughs> I want the body. And it's actually a good body for the Halo then. Yeah, a 2 3. And let's attack with the Drake. feeling good about this hand and what's your play I like how his beam is really bad yeah his beam can be a one for one yeah he can five mana shock our drake there's the beam he didn't even go for the drake yeah that makes sense we might Plumes of Peace the 3-3, three, three, or do we fear Street Breaker Worm? Ooh. I don't want to play that Corfasar. Yeah. It's a good body. A 1-3, yeah. Uh, do I want island? Hmm. What Let's does make... the flyer do here? It's a 2-2. Two, two. I kind of want island so that I can cast uh, Plumes of Peace or Douse and Glim. That's fine. Yeah. Let's pick island then. And we will... I guess you can hold back Drake if you want to uh, trade with the yeah let's do it that way like trade with the with the uh, gay crasher that kind of sucks but we know how we're winning right six is this the coil oh my god you've made a mistake <laughs> mistakes were made well it's not a mistake because it says green creature that's actually not a choice Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, the, the casting of the spell made is yeah, the real mistake. Yeah, he didn't know about our there. removal. Yeah. This is good. This We 
That was good because we didn't cast the plumes of peace. Yep. And now we can just double block. Oh wait, no, we have seven mana. I always mix Karu's. All right, ass. nothing dies forever. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Snapping Drake will deal one damage to our opponent? <laughs> Because of how rounding works in magic. Mm -hmm. It's also a card that wears the ocular halo extremely well. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. No, it's our 2 8. Mm -hmm. Or 2 10, or whatever. I don't know. No blocks. Don't care. We take three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every, everybody puts on the foam weapons, right? <laughs> He's got his blood thirster, and we just do not care. Oh, sure. Draw a card. I like that card. Okay. That card does more damage than it did. It has to attack. Like, whoa, what is the blue splash? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. I don't think we play the Seal of Doom yet. No, I want the Blind Hunter. Don't even care about the. Yeah, we attack, but. <laughs> We don't even care about the... We care like the life gain. We don't care about the, yeah, the I care damage. About, I care about the life gain there. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit. So let's deal two damage in the air. Hell yeah. To, on my unkillable flyers, because they take four damage to kill. <laughs> Helix doesn't even do it. Yeah, Helix doesn't do it. Ghost of the freaking innocent. I'm glad that card got to happen. Same. He's going to cast another street breaker. Wreck around. havoc can't be countered. Don't care. All right. Havoc has been wrecked. By the way, wreck havoc is a cool card. It's good because of carriers. Don't care, but we can cast it anyways. Well, it's a removal that bypasses ghosts of the innocent. I, I guess if we want to sack all of our team to kill this gray or his ill giant. It also lets me trigger Blind Hunter. I want to win this game rather than time my opponent out. So we attack him down to five. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if we do Seal of Doom as guy, let's just attack for three on the ground. Yeah, so we win next turn. Mm -hmm. Although we win next turn with Blind Hunter anyways. All right, and here's the lethal damage. Ghosts of the Innocent. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Ghosts of the Innocent just completely took the game and said, shut up, you're, 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 you're the ghosts are here, bad... everybody stop. I have bad news though, Jens. We still have not played a real game of Magic, or at least we finished this round by playing a fake game of Magic. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we finished, we played real games of Magic in here though. Just this one was fake. Well, this, this was one, fake. no, this one was real. This was yeah. We put him in ghost jail. <laughs> we took our opponent and we said, "All right, everybody's in ghost jail. I'm going to hit you for one in the air with a bat." And they're like, "Uh, uh yeah." See, I'd rather have I'd rather crush them than timer scam if possible. You know. <laughs> that ruled. That was good. I'm glad we got to do a, a good full turn. And we end at 21. And 200 play points. Hooray! Uh, if you answered my question about fractions, uh, the way it works, uh, let me pull up ghosts again, uh, rounded down. Mm -hmm. Basically everything in Magic rounds down. I can't think well, of something that rounds up. There's some black cards that round up because they want to be lethal. Ah. Uh. Like uh, um, the, the Havoc Festival rounds up on Life Loss because it wants to kill. Uh. You keep the cards. I own all the cards. They're right here. 
They just don't show they up. They just in that don't thing show up reason. in the thing. Like mm -hmm. I own them all. If I go into, uh, like, if I go ahead and look at Seal of, I didn't own any Seal of Dooms before this, and there's mm -hmm. two in the deck. Mm -hmm. Like the otherwise, mm -hmm. yeah, I own all of these cards. Uh, my question yes. about fractions wasn't how fractions actually work. It's about unsets. Uh, oh, then we have no idea. Uh, how does Ghost Who work cares? in unsets? Who cares? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here's the answer to all your rules about unsets. You yeah. Round? Yeah, okay, great. It rounds down to the nearest mm -hmm. hole, because that's how math works. No, he Unless you don't he, want no, it to. He, Unless you, you if and you're your... playing unsets, then your your little girl deals a quarter of a damage. Yes, I will not say. But you still have to pay half the mana. <laughs> Does endless ranks go up or down? Down because endless ranks sucks. Mm -hmm. I remember that one because that card like doesn't function. Like, because or that card was always lame because it, like, needed two to start, and then it took forever to start doing anything. Uh -huh. yeah, so, but you're basically winning if you if it worked already. Yes. So. All right. The, yeah. card, but the, the card that stole that guy's art is way better than that card. I, play, I got to play that over the weekend. It was really good. Yeah. A lot of good bears. Like the cockroaches. That's a good card. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was this was all really good stuff. Uh, this deck, like, basically did exactly what it was supposed to. Yeah, we we picked a guild combination and stuck to it, and we didn't get hosed for it. Um, there was one pick for what would we pass for the first of Basilica? That was like uh, maybe the one thing. I don't think did we pass a Basilica? I thought we picked both. No, we no we picked a Basilica over something. Might have been uh, um repeal once and the other time it was but but the basilica and such were like they were pretty dang functional yeah like that that's basically the only change we could have thought of is I, maybe having a repeal over so yeah that was that was good uh, okay nine o'clock yeah we well, had a plan i don't know if we're sticking to it yeah um that's why i was checking out uh maybe i guess the question is are you good to go to like one, yeah, probably. Why not? Because I, I am. But... As long, okay, if you are, then we'll, we'll do it. Okay, we're gonna go down, and we'll be back up in a in a few minutes uh, with a different thing. Well, something else. Ah, something, something probably else. worse. Likely, but we'll we'll see. So uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Uh, thank you all for joining. Thanks, uh, Gnome, for joining on this one. Uh, no problem. And uh, see y'all in a little bit. I hate that I have more magic cards now.